Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, you know, say, you know. You want to just get to the songs of the week? Because, like, I'm mash up. Yeah, you tired? You look yeah. tired. Yeah. I'm beat, bro. I've never been so tired in my life. Like, yesterday, I was just, like, there, like, trying to wake up and, like, my body's like, no. <laughs> 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 like I was just tired for no reason, fam. I was just trying to wake up, do everything. I got a headache. I was mm. like, I'm trying to eat. I'm falling asleep smoking. Like, I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Just go to bed, bro. Like, <laughs> I just like, but I'm still tired. I've, I've never, I'm almost at the point where I don't like driving anymore. Wow. And you know me, as I drive, I'm on. Mm -hmm. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, because um, you yeah. like driving. I love driving. You always said, yeah, yeah, I'll drive. Don't worry, I'll drive. Yeah, not this week. I didn't want to at all. At all. Do you want to, Um, I have a song. You have your song ready? I, I have, have one song. I have a couple of songs in mind. Okay. Remember the song that we've been supposed to be having for a song of a week for a while now? I have that, yeah. Okay, yeah. you have it loaded up too? Okay, say less. That. I can get that. Yeah, but you can start. You can run it. Uh, whatever you want, do it. Say it, say it, say it, say it, say it. Say it, the fuck up. Bitch, I'm trying to eat. <laughs> I really am. That's why I want to seal it up. It's the man them show. It's your boy Gutsy. It's your boy Vegas. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. What does Bingo use? Somebody send me these. Okay. 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 And I'm giving it to everybody that passes me. Yeah, fam. This guy's making me feel sick. And I've been on the road. <laughs> it's been crazy. Really quick. Shout out to our subscribers. Grab a queen. L plug. Um, Silvera Enterprises. Um, Silvera Enterprises, too. Um, I'll get to that, actually, when they send me something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um, yeah, make sure you go hit up uh, Grab a Queen. Hottest grabber in the city. L plug. If you know, you know. Um, I do do believe you can still get a, a thing off of L plug if you tell them that the man hit you up. But the big... um. Sponsor for the week. I don't know if the people them can see. <coughs> I'm gonna tip this over one more time nicely. Crumble blood effing cookies. You wanna hit up Gucci? Yeah, let's do it. Messing me because he's been messaging me all day yesterday. I was trying to sleep all day yesterday, and this nigga's messaging me that. Let me see the crumble them. <laughs> Let me see the cookies, grown. So I was tired. I've never been that tired in like in a while, bro. And by the way. I don't know what cookie is what. Oh, shit. I'm not eating that. <laughs> I don't know if there's nuts in any of them. Even if you were eating them, you better go get a fucking fork, nigga. Because, you know what I'm saying? I'm good. <laughs> this nigga going to get everybody sick with this shit. But, yeah, I don't know which cookie is what. There's a there's a pink cookie. There's a chocolate mm. chip one. There's, I don't know, this one. Like, yeah, I think it's a, like a raspberry. -os. This one looks like it's an m and &M I don't know what is what. Also, too, I'm going to be real with you. I got these cookies, like, Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They've been sitting in the fridge for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? They might not be how they should be. So, like, I don't know how we're going to, like, I'm going to rate them, but, you know, it's, it's not going to get, like, the full as rating, or it's not going to be, like, what do you call it? Like, you know, when it's coming fresh off the beak. But, yeah. Yeah. You, calling this nigga? Oh. you have to call with the potential in mind. Like, if it was hot, it might sound dope. Like, it might be good, but you have to give it And the, the chocolate one looks dirt. I'm not gonna lie. What's that pink one? That pink one looks nice. Which one? <laughs> Yo. Yeah, oh, you're sleeping. No, no. Yeah, go on. Here. Since Gucci you've been bugging sleeping. Me. Since you've been bugging me. Since you've been bugging me. That chocolate one looks good, too, with the it's sprinkles. No, that one looks nasty. <laughs> That one looks nasty. The chocolate one looks dirt. I no. don't like the chocolate one. What does it look one. like? A whole heap of shit? It just looks like a chocolate does. Like a super chocolate Yeah, cookie. I like that, though. Yeah, how's it? We didn't have any, fam. This is this is here. We're doing it on the show. Look. We're doing it. We're filming. Oh, so good, 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 good. So I had to let the people them know, like, I got it on Friday still, you know. So it might not be. <laughs> like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that first one is disappointing. That first one there, that's crop over. Like, Listen, this one went cute. through a lot. This one went through a lot. I might as well just taste it because like, yeah. it's been through a lot. That still. one's head split up. Okay, so I don't know what this is. If it is, tastes like, like pistachio or something. I don't know what this is. Yeah, that's... God damn. These motherfuckers alive. This shit tastes lit still. It's lit? 
<laughs> it's lit. It's lit. What does it taste like though? It's like raspberry. I'm trying to figure out what the other thing is like. I can taste the raspberry, but there's something else like the the cookie itself. I wish I knew what you got. Go look it up. Look it up and see, cause maybe like when they have the week, cause everything is the same for this week. Yeah, I'm a phone man. I don't know, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. Man. yeah I'm a phone. <laughs> but yeah, um, that one's really good still. That one I would rate it like. I rated it a solid eight. Does it have to? Did, do you think it had to be hot? Not hot? Like no, it was like, how I, like it is? I think if I got them on the <coughs> the actual day, I'm I'm rocking with a nine, maybe a nine point five. That tastes fucking good, <laughs> and I don't like raspberry. Mm-hmm. That tastes really fucking good. Shit, I'm trying to remember. Uh, so <laughs> you don't even remember like when they switched the date, huh? With the crumble team, they ch- they change it every week. Sometimes I like Gucci. Yeah, yeah, it's every week. So, every week, yeah. Um, they they have new one. You see, I fucked up because if I knew that they were gonna do this, I would have only got a few of them. But because lemon blackberry cake, I think that's what you tried. This one, yes, that's what it is—the lemon blackberry. Yeah. Let but me see. What's I think that's the it? lemon. I think that's what it is that I'm tasting. Like the allergy lemon. information contains milk, milk, weed, and egg. I can have it. I can have some. Go we'll go get a fork, you know. I don't you have a fork. There's no forks or nothing in here. A knife? I don't know. A spoon? There must be, bro. I don't know. Well, I'll go down soon and get you one because you're not getting everybody sick in this bitch. Oh, this is that pink one is a classic pink sugar. Allergies. What's in it? Wheat? No, almonds, wheat, egg, and milk. I can eat that too. Nice. Which one is this? <laughs> this one yeah. right here? Yeah, yeah, I can have that one. Oh, chocolate cake batter. Let me see if the uh, let me see what's in mm. this one. So hold on, I want to taste this one. The pink Better one. not have no hazelnut. Milk, wheat, egg, soy. God <laughs> bless. Oh, this one's looking good. This one's looking hold on. good. What, which one is this one again? The pink. That one is called classic pink sugar. So it's a sugar cookie with the pink frosting. I'm pretty sure it's just like every other sugar cookie. Mm, it's good. Yeah. It's not too. You know when the sugar cookies are like, they have like a stale or a weird taste to it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's not like that. Like. These cookies actually taste fucking good. So the one that's plain is called Kentucky Butter Cake, a yellow butter cake cookie smother with a melt in your mouth buttery glaze. That Fire. One. Yeah, so no. that's this one? Fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one's a lavas. That one looks nice and soft. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is it? It's a butter. Yellow butter, co- co- yellow butter cake cookie smothered with a melt in your mouth buttery glaze. Kentucky Butter Cake. That one's the most mid one so far. That one's not good? It's whatever. And then the next one is just the original um, M&M's peanut butter cookie candies. I don't want that one. And what about this one? Wait, that one? Or maybe that one was a... Uh, do you have a milk chocolate one there? Yeah. This that one, one is the, the milk, milk chocolate, chocolate one. one, yeah. That's just a regular mm-hmm. milk chocolate cookie. Try it. You have to try it. You have to try all of them. I am, I am. Except for the chocolate. Okay, hold on. Try the chocolate one, too. Don't be like that. Hold on, hold on. So this is the uh, milk, milk chocolate? Yeah, no chocolate cookie, yeah. Mm. The cookie's nice, mm-hmm. but I just don't like it. I don't like the flavors. Mm. Not my not my cup of tea. Holy shit, where's the water, fam? It's behind you, no? Mm-hmm. I shouldn't have my mouth fucking... Baby Shea is live. Oh, yeah? Shout out Baby Shea, Winter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hold on. The chocolate and the M M&M and M one. Okay, I'm gonna try the M M&M and M one. No, I'm gonna try the chocolate one, and then I'm gonna do the M M&M and M one because I feel like I'm not gonna like the chocolate. You're gonna like the chocolate one, bro. You, unless you just don't like chocolate. I'm not a huge chocolate fan. That's though. probably why you won't like it. You don't like it. I don't like it. You don't like it, eh? Me not like it still. <laughs> <laughs> when I like it. <laughs> um, is it again, bad though? It's not bad. Mm-hmm. Like it's just me. You know me. I'm very yeah, very picky. Yeah. So personal preference thing. Yeah, it's a personal personal preference. Like if you like the chocolate, uh, I think the sprinkles help it though because it's it's too chocolatey. Because mm-hmm. you have the regular, you have the sprinkle. Uh, sorry, you have the chocolate cookie itself, mm-hmm. and then you have the 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 chocolate cream with it. Nah, it's too much. 
<laughs> Two matches. And then this one is the M&M's. Mm, that one looks so good. That one's decent. It's light. It's not like a heavy... It's not like heavy like these three back here. I feel like these three... Like the cookie dough is heavy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Feel like, you feel like you have to drink it with um, milk or some shit. Mm. But this one is fucking ton up. That, the, 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 the lemon... The blackberry lemon one? blackberry one is fucking ton up. This shit is a fucking amazing. Don't eat all of it. Hold on. I'm, I'm you better go get a fucking fork or something, nigga. <laughs> you better go get a <laughs> fork because why this thing that ton up? Woo! Like, that one really tastes like a cheesecake. Like a cheesecake turned into a cookie. Yeah, the cakes are fire. That, like, that's what I'm thinking this one was, like a a lighter version of, of what you had. Like, just turned into a cake. Yeah. But yeah, so boss it up, boss it up. What? Just use a cup then. Use a cup and break it, mm. and then put it in the cup. I seen Smart that on TikTok. Smartos. Nah, nah. nah it's, cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, you see me as a doggy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what they do on the cake. Is. He gave me such a big ass piece though. Give me the piece. Give me that napkin. <laughs> All right. All right. So. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> mm. You take the chocolate one. There's a piece of the chocolate one. Hmm. <clears throat> and yeah, I hear what you're saying. The batter is heavy. On this um, lemon one? Yeah, the battery has, but it tastes good. Yeah, it's good though. Yeah, this guy's feeling it. Fire. Pause. Mm. Give me the cookie it. one. Hmm? Give me the cookie one, please. Which cookie one? The, 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 the brown one. The, the brown one, the one that you don't like. Take it. This one. Take this one piece right here. Are you talking about this one, right? Give me that one. This one? Give me that one. Nigga, take this piece right here. Piece oh, my bad. About. There's a piece right here, fam. This one? Yeah. <laughs> that one's way too fudgy. You see? Yeah, it's midas. This one needs like milk or water. Yeah. yeah, fam. It's too much with that one. He's tasting the sugar cookie. That one tastes blessed, still. It's like a three out of, to me, it's three out of six, still. Well, out of the cookies here. The three, the other three were lit. I like that chocolate one, actually. You like the chocolate one? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yuck. Maybe Yuck. just the sprinkles, though. <clears throat> the sprinkles help the chocolate one a lot. This one's good, too. That one's really good. Crumble cookies. And this is the lineup for the week. This is good. That, one's that the sugar, one is good. The sugar cookie one is really fucking good. Um, you got the M M&M and M and the other two. There you go. There you go. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. Shout out my guy, YBA, man. He's not from the Jane anymore. <laughs> not from the Jane. <clears throat> kind of glad this raspberry thing um, fell off so I can put um, the other cookies in it. Um, oh, you're trying to mix it? No, 
why? Because there's, there's a sauce on it, and it, it, it's at the top of the thing. Yeah, and I'm going to mix it with some of the other ones that I don't really like. Yeah, but um, to me, three out of the six are hitting. The other three, the, the, the chocolate one I hate. I don't like the chocolate one at all. The other two, I'm, I don't know. The other two are just mid. Chocolate one's like a four. That butter cookie one is good. Vegas said the butter cookie one is good. I think the butter cookie one is all right. It's just too, it's too doughy. Maybe that's what I like about it. It reminds me of like a... Like a peanut butter cookie? <laughs> yes. That's exactly what it reminds me of. Yeah, my fat head, bro. <laughs> the M&M one is good, too. It's not too fluffy. I think, I think, I think that's just a problem. I think if the cookies were a little bit lighter, I would have probably liked them. But I think because it's like... Do you think it's due to eating it on Sunday no. instead of Friday? No. I just don't think I like the cookie. At, like, you know what I'm saying? I just think the cookie them is... It's just how they are. Fam, you had the cookies two days after. Uh, not even two days. Technically, like, a day and a couple of hours. Because I did get it late Friday night, right? And it's, it's Sunday drink. <sighs> Fuck. But well. I don't think cookies matter. Like, if cookies come out for like a couple of days, I don't think that really matters. Yeah, because really you got to remember, yeah. cookies are not like, obviously, if you get cookies super, super fresh, like, obviously, they're going to be obviously, lit. Yes. But like, Oreos are packaged, fam, and Oreos be lit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Still, yeah. like, certain packaged cookies are still like lit. So I think cookies is not like, it doesn't really matter. I, I just feel like people were dissing these cookies a little bit too much. The but cookies what are were they the, saying about it though? They're saying that they're overrated, that they're hot, like they're not really that hype. It's like the flavors on top and whatnot. I think that they're they're just hating. Well, keep From in mind it's, cause it's pricey. It's because they're pricey. Well, keep in mind that you say that they change their cookie menu every week. Mm -hmm. They probably went on a bad yeah. week or a week that they don't like. Yes, the, that, the, the, too. That, that, yeah. that set of cookies, you know what I'm saying? Because this set of cookies is pretty dope. I would buy all these cookies. Like I, I like I like them I like the variety of them. And it's technically like five dollars a cookie. So there's six is six cookies in here, and we pay and I pay like five dollars a cookie because it's like thirty one dollars. So it's not. That, I mean, it's like it's pricey, but it's not that pricey. Well, you're getting like and you're getting the cookies it, like are the big, cookie, yeah, right? pretty big cookies. And it's doughy, like you said, and I think the dough is the reason, like the weight, like it's it's the price based on the weight of the cookie. It's heavy. You know what I'm saying, and it's pretty wide. You're not getting just cookies. You also got like a cake. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, one of them is pretty much a cake. Yeah. That's why I'm saying I think it's the same cake thing that cook, blah, that Gucci had, yeah. but just in a cookie form. Mm, okay. 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 But um, I like it. Like it, it's not it's not as bad as everybody was saying it is. Mm -hmm. Everybody was really shitting on the crumble cookies and saying they're not this and not the third and blah blah blah. I like they're they're not bad at all. I Craig's is better though. Craig's is better. Why? Because I made the Craig's cookies. For I know, but I mean, like, <laughs> why, why you have to like be like, yeah, shout out to them, like. Because the. I the cookies. know, but I'm saying you don't. Do you have to make it known that they are that? Yes. You why would you? Said, shout out Craig's cookies and done. Shout we don't out care them they, Craig's cookies. We don't bro. care who makes them. <laughs> do we really care who makes our cookies? Yes. You want a person making your cookies? If it's fucking dope, I don't give a shit. Well, after the fact. <laughs> what do you mean when after I found the fact? Out, when I found out after, it bugged me, and I didn't go there for a little bit. But you still went back. Because there's no other cookies in the cities that fucking freak like them, fam. I don't know who's busting nuts in those fucking cookies. Oh, my fire. <laughs> oh, yeah, Yo. Gucci, the man has been on it all day, fam. The man was wild yesterday. He's like, yo, what if I fly you out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, what if I fly you out? And yeah, it was so, so sensual. Oh, I, was, I told so, uh, yeah, I told Solo yes, I was just like, so what if I fly you out? <laughs> Fire. I was like, hey yo, like, hey, yo, <laughs> hey yo, pause. pause. I haven't got sleep. I haven't got proper sleep in a while, fam. Even though I slept the whole day yesterday, <laughs> it's been months still. It's crazy, but Gucci, what are you dealing with? <laughs> Nothing so just got up this nap. Yeah. Uh, how much money did we make this week? Not at all. Um, fuck, I can't even count. 
Jeez. Uh, uh, no. he, yeah, he's, he's, he's trying to fucking play it off. But the nigga, a couple of days ago, he wasn't saying that. Fuck, <laughs> yo. You remember, Gooch? <laughs> you remember? A couple of days ago. Yeah, you remember what you called me complaining about? I think so. I think so. It was not clicking, but yeah, I, you know me. I'm always complaining. Nah, but you're complaining about the tours. Tours. What got towed? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you weren't happy about yeah. that. Did you find out how much? Yeah, yeah. Did you get it out? Uh, yeah, I got it. I got it out. The, the tours. The, it ended up being 2K. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where did you park? Where did you park? At the gates of heaven? They said, like, fuck uh, this nigga. What the hell? What are you doing here? Yeah, Because the toll alone is 750 and then the $85 a day, right? Because you have so a, I had it there. Because your car is big, that's why. They don't do that I to had small it there. cars. They don't do that to small cars. What? A small car toll is like 150 Fam, I don't remember getting to paid for a toll. I got, I gotta ask because I don't remember g us getting a charge on that whip. We never got charged for that. We just got charged for the days it was there. Maybe we didn't. I just don't remember. This is, well, like he's, it's, fam, he has a big car, so it's gonna cost more. I'm telling you, that's how they do it. Hey, man. But but even out there, like eighty five dollars a day is blessed. Toronto, it's like one something. So, regardless. How much is it? It's like one in a, a day. day okay. yeah, yeah, it's like a peel, billion change. A peel, I know it's 80 something because that's how much the car was when I had to pull it out. I had to fucking work two weeks to fucking get that bitch out when I got pulled over in Peel. How much did you have to take? I had to wait a week before <laughs> I pulled it out and then it was like almost like two grand. But that was for a week. Right? Oh. I think, or maybe two weeks actually. It might have been two weeks. Yeah, that tow, yeah, tow thing is crazy. Yeah. So imagine you get towed and like you you end up like some end up happen to you, like you get locked up or something, like. Right. And your shit has to is is there for like a whole year, like what you owe them like ten racks, <laughs> twenty probably, racks. At that point, they'll probably auction it off if they can't get to you. you know what I'm Damn. You, just, you have to call it a loss and. If you it, it all and, and two is if it if did you buy the car, did, are you leasing it? Because they would have to contact the leasing leasing people, and then they would have to do all that bullshit. That's what happens, I think. That's mad. It's honestly weird. So. Wild as. Well, <clears throat> it seems like we all had a stressful fucking week. Because why? <laughs> I don't even want to drive no more. Like, the amount of driving I did, I feel like I've driven, like, so much in the last week, like, for my whole life. Um, <laughs> it's like, every two seconds, and then everybody was drunk. I'm the only sober person, so I have no choice but to drive, too, and it just makes it worse. It's mm. like, God damn. Mm. Yeah. So, so, hold on. The madam can't drive? The other madam? Yeah, but I was the driver. I was getting paid for driving and doing other stuff, but that's a conversation for another uh. But, like, yeah, um... They can drive, but like shit. When when you know a man that doesn't want to drink, and he and everybody else wants to fucking drink and turn up, they're gonna be like, "All right, well, let's get turned up then." While we have this nigga that's just here, the designated driver. Yeah, <laughs> being the designated driver is fun, but not fun. Mm. It's fun at the beginning of the night when you're going to certain places. Mm -hmm. It's bad at the end of the night when everybody's fucked up and you just want to go home and everybody mm -hmm. else is just fucking turned and niggas is fucking losing balance and want to holler at all the shotties and you're just like yeah the night's done fam so who's drunk is better worse like my drunk or the the, the spanish them man is drunk neither they're both bad they're both bad <laughs> they're both really bad i've had bad experiences with both it was funny experiences with both but bad experiences with both um, I still can't believe that all that shit happened. Man. Fam, just in one night, it was like a it was like a fucking hangover episode, fam. Like <laughs> we had the fucking crackhead. Oh, fuck, I shouldn't even call her a crackhead, but she's a crackhead. I don't give a fuck. Like this weirdo, and she was talking telling us she's from Hell's Angels, and I was like, "Whoa, that's a way to turn off a black guy." Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she was coming up to us. She was trying to kiss all the man. Them. Oh my oh, god! Da, 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 da. And she was just hugging up the man them, and then. 
One of the next versions hollering at all the things, whistling loud with the whistle. He's hollering at everything. It, 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 it was mad. Then we got... There's a whole bunch of stuff I can't talk about, to tell you the truth, what I really think about it. But then, like... <laughs> There, there is a. Well, we dropped certain people home, and then one man wanted to continue the night. I wanted to continue the night to go to fucking casino. Yeah. My whole thing was I want to win some fucking money, or I want to lose some money, but I want to attempt to make some more money. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we went to the casino. Um, one okay, so the person that I was going to the casino, he was already lit. Why he even decided to still come to the casino, I don't know. Whatever mm -hmm. came so. Drove, drove to the first, you know, you know me, I'll find some weird place to park. Gucci mm. knows too. Like, I'll, I'll find anywhere to park. So I found a spot to park. Immediately, mm -hmm. the man, like, woke up out of his thing and he was just like, yo, you can't park here. You have to park at the casino. I'm like, like fam, you're out of it. Mm. Like, what difference does it make? If anybody comes, you could just go whatever, whatever. He's like, no, go park at the <laughs> casino. So we park at the casino now. I'm trying to get this guy up. Ten minutes. Yo, we're here. Let's go. Playing music, doing everything. Yo, 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 yo. Just go. Just go, bro. What do you want me to do? Yes, he just 10 minutes. Nigga didn't want to do it. So whatever. I'm like, fuck it. Let me go. So one, this is why I was so pissed off when I think about it too. I went to the casino. I can't find no fucking entrance into the fucking casino. <laughs> Every entrance is locked off. Then it starts fucking pouring rain. I'm just, I'm wet. I'm cheese. I'm like, yo. So went around the casino for like 20 minutes to find fucking entrance. Found the entrance. Boom. Go. I'm there. I, I ain't see nothing but slots. You know me. I don't like the fucking slots. So I'm mm -hmm. there already losing like 10 bucks just on slots alone. Mm -hmm. I'm like, fuck, man. Where's the fucking shit? Now, all the fucking security. Nobody knows what the fuck's going on. One lady won like 10 grand at the fucking machine. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, well, fuck. Let me go to the machine beside her. Lose off my five bucks. Whatever. Cool. <laughs> then I found the roulette table. Mm. Boom. Went downstairs. Seen a roulette. Ah, uh, Played a one-two blackjack. Made a 20 buck. Boom. I'm like, all right. Good, it's going to be a good night. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Go to the little, uh, I see the roulette spot. It's like a little solo virtual roulette spot. Boom, I'm over there. See the one, two us. I'm like, whatever. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So I'm doing my thing, making a little 50 bucks, losing a 25. Made a little tw 10 bucks, lost the 20. Shit's not really adding up. I'm realizing like, you know, w whatever, whatever. So um, this guy comes up to me. You know what I'm saying? Guy and a couple of other people, they're, they're just in a the crowd. And they're like, oh, whatever, whatever. I tell them I'm part of the podcast. They start talking, whatever. All of a sudden, I get a phone call. I'm like, oh, homie's up. Tell him to follow him. Yo, what the fuck, bro? What the fuck you left me, bro? These fucking guys are here trying to call police on me. I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, bro, where the fuck are you? I'm like, I'm in the casino. He's like, come, bro, before these fucking guys arrest me. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling him I'm in the casino. So I'm telling him. People them here, yo, tell homie to come inside, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, yo, bro, where the fuck are you, me? Da, 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 da. Pretty much the man got into an argument with the fucking casino, fucking security. Man's threatening the casino security is going to crush them. The casino security's like, yo, I don't know. So I came out there, like, my, my night was already, like, I was just cheesed. I was, I was just sealed up, and I was just like, yeah. I am never going out with alcoholics ever again. <laughs> Except for me. <laughs> Even you, fam. No, Once I see you start man. drinking, fam, it's a wrap, no, fam. I'm cutting, bro. What? I'm leaving, bro. I'm leaving. I am leaving you niggas. I am no longer... Actually, no. I'm just going to get fucking turned. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get fucking drunk. That way I can't drive nobody. Everybody's fucked. We're all fucked. That's fine. Because, <laughs> yeah, like we're all gonna have to fucking figure it out ourselves because Sleep this in is the some whip until someone gets the fuck up and some to go fuck home. Me, fam. I couldn't win money. Like I couldn't stay and chill. Like yo, fam, I was cheese, fam. I wish I can give you guys the uncut version. One day you guys will get the uncut version though of what really happened that night because the night was actually crazier. I just have to edit myself out for for safety reasons. But yeah, it was fucked up. Shout out Windsor though. Windsor was a good time. Um. It's a terrible city, though. They need to fix up over there. That city is trash. Definitely a different city. Did you see the turkeys at all? No. When you were over there? Were you guys were? close to, like, the water? Yes, we were right by the water. There's, oh, fam, like, one of my dogs lives over there, bro. There's, like, oh, like, if you go by his ends, like, there's bigger turkeys just out there. Turkeys, bro. <laughs> wild turkeys. No, I didn't see no turkeys. Crazy. I've seen wild crackheads, though. Wild buck tees. <laughs> I see some crazy. Oh, I see, I showed you guys the video. Did I send you guys the video? Of the, the McDonald's? man was filling up all the things. Yo, the man, yo, he, 
he's the diabolical man of the week, fam. I'm like, this nigga is diabolical. He feel because first I seen him and I'm like, oh, okay, he's definitely gonna go fill up his thing. So he filled up his thing, and I'd be like, yo, it'd be sick if he pulled out another nigga, nigga pulled out another cup. I was like, oh, and the cup was bigger than the first one. I was like, yo, this nigga is cold, fam. Yeah. Then he pulled out a third one. Then the nigga went to the ketchup machine and tried to pour in the ketchup. And I'm like, oh, this nigga is sick. He just looked at me like. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm like, listen, fam. Get it how you live, bro. Who am I to tell you? Who am I to tell you different? And two, the, the fucking cracked out McDonald's always be the best taste in McDonald's for some strange fucking reason, bro. You like that McDonald's? That best, bro. That's where you did the firecracker review? Yeah. That the hey man, the McDonald's was lit. <laughs> the fry cracker was made, the, but the fries, the fries was kicking. The fries was. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, holy shit! Just the right amount of salt and everything. I like it's always in these crackhead neighborhoods that have the best fucking McDonald's, fam. The one, the McDonald's you never want to fucking even the one on Queen and Spadina, mm. fam. You don't want to go there, fam. But if you get food at the right time there, dirt, dirt, that one is it's blessed. blessed. It's blessed, yeah. I'm sorry, bro. Legend. Bro. Legendary. I think it's closing down, or it's closed down already. I don't fucking know. Yeah, it's it's a it's a wrap for that spot. So they're closing it down, they probably or it's put, probably closed down already. We said Gucci. They, they, probably, they probably put crack in it, too, because, you know, oh, it's in the crack neighborhood. Oh, <laughs> no. Why did he have to go there you're with too it? too much, man. Dark. Why did he have to go there Dark. with it? <laughs> Dark thoughts. Um, what else happened this week? What else? What what what, what reviewers? Um, you went you went to a concert. I seen. Future. I went to Future Gucci. Yo, hold on. Before we go, this Gucci. You know who? Um. Oh fuck! You guys don't even watch it. You know who you are. What? You're ish. You what? You. What? You what? You're ish from from Joe Button podcast. Why you say that? Because ish doesn't want to do nothing with the man them. He'll Sam, go do stuff I, with his girl. Listen, listen, He'll listen, go listen, do listen. all this nah, stuff. Nah, nah, it's nah, fucking nah. crazy have... that we spoke a couple of days <laughs> about Gucci going, but then randomly for the whole day, it, I can't get a hold of you, but you pop up at the fucking show. It wasn't, That's okay, fucking crazy. Okay, okay, so <laughs> again, there's a story. The second time, Gucci. This is, a, this is a story behind this. There's a story behind this. So, <laughs> so my dog Mills and them called me, right? Mills and four or five and them niggas, right? These are my old friends. Fam, these are my old friends that <laughs> say we know. These from... are my old friends that say they get things done and don't do shit. So they call me at my work, be like, yo, what are you doing on Sunday? I'm like, I don't know, bro. I'm supposed to be filming and then I have something to do. It's like, okay, we're going to future. I'm like, all right, sure. Like, okay. They're like, yeah, trust me, Dex, trust me. They call me Dex, by the way. Yeah, Dex, trust me, trust me. I'm like, okay, whatever. So fucking I find out I'm not working Sunday. We're supposed to go do my sister's thing, mm -hmm. but the money wasn't making sense because I would have to Uber. Fucking shorty flopped on us. It's like, okay, whatever. So evening time comes. They were like, yo, they were like, yeah, we'll send you an email. I'm going to send the tickets. I'm like, okay. Like, I'm still thinking this is not happening. Boom, in my email, the future tickets. I'm like, oh, shit. So they came through. So that's how I even got the future because at the end of the day, these niggas flop on me so much. They flop in general. I did not know. Even after we went to some fucking Japanese restaurant, I'd be like, yo, Dex, do you even think we made it this far? I'm like, no, nigga, I did not think that you would get me through this or get that far. Or do what I'm, you know what I'm saying they're, they're living their life. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I got to admit it, but we went, I went to future. It's above average concert. Okay, Go, okay. Before you get to the concert again, Gucci, that's fucked up, though, alive. <laughs> it's not fucked. Yeah, that's fucked up, alive. I'm shot this thing end up there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Doug, I woke up. I woke up the next day to a future reaction video on the YouTube channel. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, I had, we, me and this nigga were supposed to go to Ice Spice. This nigga ended up at Future concert. I'm like, yo, what the hell? We were supposed to give up the Ice Spice tickets, everything. This nigga said, nah, fuck that, Future. <laughs> I, listen, I we did don't not trust you. know I was going to Future. And you never <laughs> even told me about Ice Spice. We yes, were, we, what the fuck? We were supposed no, to give away the saying, tickets. I know, but I'm saying, I didn't know if we were going to go or not go. We didn't. There was no clear indication on what's happening with these tickets either. Yeah, there wasn't. I'll, I'll say that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if we, we, we should have went to Ice Spice. Cash Fuck, we could have we could have we could have went all to both these places at the end yeah. of the day. Got an attitude and had rule. That's the only song you performed a lot. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it was it was lit though, huh? Um, I missed Metro Boomin set, and I heard that set was the set to not miss. 
Um, How the fuck do you guys miss Metro set? Nine X man, fucking guy was late. Like this, we, he was supposed to be there. At, like set, doors open seven, mm. the show starts at eight. We didn't get to the spot till like eight thirty, like eight thirty nine o'clock. Nigga, bro. It's like, but I, I'm just waiting for nine because he had, uh, he, I think he had other engagements, so he had to go home and then come get me. So mm. that's a, that's where we were late. But I was ready from from the rip, so whatever. But yeah, nine X was late, so I got there. Um, when Future was doing his older set, like all the hits, that was lit. The the Gucci flip flops, the fucking like all the Future hits. That shit was lit. Like I can't lie, ten out of ten for that set. And then fucking okay, Gutsy, I'm gonna be real. You know what I? I'm I'm here for the fuckery. Mm. Did Kendrick come out? No. Ass. Did the did the crowd react to? Um, what is it? Not like that? Yes. Positively. Yes? <laughs> Positively. But when I hear everybody's like, ah! everybody's going crazy. But he cut it off at the Kendrick part, though. That pussy. Oh, he cut off the Kendrick he part? He cut off the Kendrick part. I'm like, yeah, this nigga's a bitch. He should have mm-hmm. played the whole record. But do you play the whole record and then have my boy put, like, nobody, put, they perform Kendrick part? Fam, he did it with Young Thug. They did a Young Thug <clears throat> record and they performed Young Thug's part. That's different because Young Thug's not dissing anybody on the truth. So I think that, but I think that's just what it is. They didn't, they didn't want to come and just stir all that shit because even he did, um, even they did, um, the, the other one with Weekend. They did the Weekend. They let that go. You know what I'm saying? Not the diss one though. <clears throat> the uh, we still don't trust you. They did that one. Okay. I don't know. And then they did um. I'm on all the wrong nauseous. They did that song too. Mm-hmm. Um, they also did a Drake record when Drake's on the hook. Which one? The song where Drake's on the hook that features on. Fuck, I can't remember the song right now. What song is that for Gucci? Uh, and it's like, um, but, but it seemed like they lowered Drake's voice vocals though. Like, and like, oh, what is the fucking song? It, it's the one they did before the album. It's... No, they did the Thames record too. No, not that one. Oh, it's like we're in a band. Yeah, those tracks together. Not that no, one. No, they never did that one. It was. More did they do like anything a... off of the the thing album, the joint album? No, they didn't do nothing off the joint album. No, no. They did not. They do. Future and Future and Drake don't have that many songs together. To tell you the truth, it's only yes, through they the, do. They have only the through album. the album. It's only through the actually. Yeah, they have a few. Man, they have a whole album together. But cut off, take off that album. Do they have that much? Mm. They have like maybe I'll say they have. They like have a five. couple songs with like other people. I think not just them two alone. But but anyways, back to the some, 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 used to this. They never played that one. They never played used to this. What there was a song that Drake's on the hook, bro, and it's like, uh, uh, where's my where's my phone? I fucking know still. Hold on, I'll I'll pull it up real quick. <clears throat> Gucci should know. The fact that Gucci doesn't know is terrible. Gucci Dog, I wasn't there. But you're a future fan. You should you're supposed to know all their tune. <sighs> One, no, you said this, love me more. No, 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 and she do, no. They do have a lot of songs together. Desires, no, no. Yeah, bro, I can't remember, but um, they have, they, they did, they did, they have, fam, they have like fucking a top 15. They have lots of records together. They have D4L, they have Tony Montana, Grammys, Desires, Never Satisfied, Into Deep. Diamond dancing, used to this jump man, blue tint. I'm the plug, Scarlet's digital dash, life in the gutter. Where you at? Honestly, I don't remember, but yeah. When um Metro and Future did their set though, that shit was ass. I don't think anybody really n- cared about those records too much. The new ones? Yeah, especially from the second part, second album. Yeah, I don't think nobody was fucking with that set. Like that set was like was, was triple OG garbage though. So, like. I didn't fuck with that set. I only liked like that and type shit. Those are the only two songs that were like, oh my god, yeah, like like when he did slime slime you out and shit, and they're trying and you you know when you do the call me response with the DJ cut the music, nobody responded. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of those, and I caught it, and they they tried to you know what I'm saying Gotta like nigga, just do the, just get you guys are thinking, fuck out of here. What did now. they close out with? You still don't trust you. 
You still don't trust you. Uh, that was the last song. Thank you, Toronto. We trust you. Do you think they should have took more shots at Drake or somebody else or no? No, I think it is. How, I think it. I think it was good how it was, and um, I just um, a lot of people said it was too short though. That was the only other complaint. It's my first concert, so I don't know how long or short something's supposed to be. But people did complain that the the concert was a bit too short. Nigga, how long have you been in the game for? Exactly, right? How the fuck is that your first concert? My very first concert at the ACC. I've never been to any other concert. I've been to a Jada Kiss performance at a club. Never been to a concert in my life. That makes absolutely no sense. It's crazy, right? It's not crazy. It just doesn't make no sense. <laughs> go to a fuck. Go out, nigga. I know, right? I should go out more. <laughs> Like, what? you never been to a concert? I never. My first one. He need help. He said Ice Spice was ass. <clears throat> mm, it wasn't ass. It was a vibe. You went? Yeah. Yeah, it was all right. It was a vibe. <laughs> Not so, for me. What is, like, what, what, so what was the highlights and lowlights? Ice Spice. Highlight? Twerking. Cash Cobain coming out, and for sure. You went to Ice Spice? <laughs> yeah, I went to Ice Spice tickets. Um, that's about it. it. It's not my vibe. Mm-hmm. So it was what it was. Um, I feel like there's something else that happened this week. Mm, French Montana and them. We didn't go to that. I know. Yeah. I had a, I had someone go to. Oh. They said it was I. Right. I heard. I heard people was bowling with French Montana after. They got bored. Bowling or French Montana. Oh yeah. Who shot these? Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm in shorties. Wow. Like a bunch of people. French did a live set. Like, he had, like, a like a concert setting behind him doing his performance. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, because like he had drums. people dancing and like, shit. Yeah. I would say more, like, yeah. He had a Max B shouting out everybody in this, in, this, in in Toronto. Like, he had a he had him on the screen and shit. Uh, Fabio didn't show up, obviously. Fabio, like Fabio never Can't comes. get him through the border. Yeah. And Fabulous also, like, you know. I think I think I think that concert was for f- fans. It, I heard like a lot of like YT people were there, so like they were just waiting for Unforgettable when it comes to French. Of so, course, you know what I'm saying. You are a lot of people weren't knowing the the catalog like that. But well, how, how would they? It's like fucking twenty something years. A bunch, a bunch of young boys in there, young people in there that don't really rock with the people like that, right? Probably yeah. like Yo Gucci. Is is Fabio foreign? Is Fabio foreign as big if um if Pop Smoke doesn't die? Do you think he's still like as big as he is now? Yeah, cause he's not that big. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I need you back. Five. See, we have you on the sin- in the middle seat right now, Gucci. That's why we need you. Right so now, hold on. Bro. So do you think he still gets like Kanye West features, Alicia Keys features, if 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 Pop Smoke's alive? Um. Yes. Because he, his track, his first track was kind of fire, you know. Big um, drip, yeah, like, yeah, but there's no follow up to big drip though. Like, like, there's no supreme follow up to say like. Whereas pop, nah, smoke but he's gonna a, get hit. No, but, listen, but it's not a big, it's not a big deal to get features, bro. You know what I mean? Okay, I get it, but like, okay, but but I think what Gucci's trying to say is like, if pop smoke doesn't die, Fabio doesn't live, in in, in the sense of like. Him getting the Kanye love, him getting the Drake love, him getting the Alicia love. It's almost like. When Pop Smoke and Fabio was out, Fabio had Big Drip, and Pop had not only Welcome to the Party, but he also had fucking um 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 what's the one? What's that one? Wait, wait, or is that Welcome to the Party? I don't know, but he had more than just one. She didn't do it at rock. She didn't do it at She didn't get caught for it. Michael Mary, Michael Mary. Billy Jean, Billy Jean. Christian Dior, Dior. Christian Dior, Dior. So he had Dior. He had Welcome to the Party. You know what I'm saying? He had, honestly, that first tape. Like, Nigga that say tape they outside. Crazy. Whoa. Nigga, Nigga say, say they, they outside. outside. <laughs> Yo, Pop Put was. Put up on them little slide. Yo, Pop was too cold, fam. You know what I'm saying? He had a lot of fucking smashes behind Welcome to the Party where 
Five only had Big Drip. What other song could you say that he has that you can actually like say the lyrics to now? Shitting, pissing, pissing, shitting, shitting, pissing, pissing, shitting. I couldn't believe that. Wait, are you trying to compare the? Um, don't compare the pop. No, 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 no. I'm not comparing him. What I'm saying is. If Pop Smoke doesn't die, I don't think Pop, I don't even think Fabio Foreign is like a thing. Yeah, I don't think he's that relevant. I don't think he gets a Alicia Keys feature. I don't think he gets a Kanye West feature because I think that those guys more would want to fuck with Pop instead of him. Listen, if Pop Smoke was alive. Nah, I think you uh, you still be there still no, like and I, and Pop no and he'd Pop be was there. fucking with Pop. Uh, Pop was fucking with uh, Pop was fucking with Fabio too. You know like. Yeah, he At the was, end day, like he would, he would still, he would still, like, nah, you yeah. can't. He, he, when he was hot, when he came out with Big Drip, he had his, he had his, his, his little thing going on. So, you know. Fabio would be on CJ's level right now. What's CJ saying? Nothing. Fa Fabio's not. Fabio, mm. hear, hear me out. CJ was actually bigger than Fabio. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm not lying to you. Go look at the numbers. Yeah. Go look at the numbers and tell me if I'm lying. Shit. Hold on, hold on. You have the phone there with things. So what do you want to do? We could just do YouTube for now because I've been looking at my boy's thing, right? Mm. I, I'm going to tell you one thing. K-Flock does better numbers than fucking thing, Fabio. No fucking way. I'm not lying to you. Fabio, again, 30 mil. The song with Alicia Keys and, and Kanye West didn't even do better than Big Drip. Put it like that. The song's ass, that's why. So <laughs> his best song that he was ever a part of was... um. The song with my boy, King Von, I Am What I Am. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, biggest, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. I remember that song. That's okay. the biggest song that he's a part of. Big yeah. Drip has the most things. So yeah. then we talked about CJ, right? Yeah. So Big Drip was his most viewed song. Big Drip has like 90, 89 mil. Mm. I think that's what I seen on it. Where, where's the fucking song? Big bro? Drip. She fell in love with a dick. dick. Whatever. It's hey. like at 89 mil. Then we get CJ, right? Uh. Whoop D. I'm going to go out of my way to say Whoop D has more views than that. Whoop D probably has maybe 100 mil. Whoopty was a fucking super smash song. How much? 474 million. Oh, I see. Fuck, I lowballed it. I didn't expect it to be that big. That's a smash. That's a super smash record. Again, label though. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess. So some of those numbers padded, but even but even fam, even at um even at ten percent is still a hundred mil. Yeah, I know. Or it, or maybe fuck, not even ten, but just around 80 so it would still do it's the same numbers it's like it's like neck and neck that's fucking crazy still shit where's cj right now fam cj's man that man that man claimed the wrong set and all sorts of weird stuff cj's done so he never or the follow up wasn't big enough it's the same shit fam you get the a follow up big, wasn't that big yeah he you had get, the bop song that's when the the, yeah, the, when the dancer you yeah, were shaking his yeah. ass in the song yeah no nah, no nah, no nah. and then and then it's false claiming too that whole false, false claiming thing that i think that's what fucked him up the most. <laughs> you know what i'm saying where them niggas wasn't claiming him and blah 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 everything like, like that yeah he had a true this tune with our uh, dream doll that tune was hard i never heard it still what gucci we have to link you back <laughs> <laughs> love dog no that tune was CJ and Dream though? The music video, everything. Ah, uh, why does it have thing? Freak. <laughs> That's what that, what's wrong with what? Like, she's dope, bro. That's the first time I actually kind of listened to her. Problem. What? What is the problem with Dream Doll? Label. Um, she was signed to my boy there. That was signed. Uh, that was signed to fucking Cardi B. Yeah, Cardi Atlantic? B signed to. No, 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 no. DJ. She was signed to itself. She was signed to self. Yeah, he fucked with her bad. Dealt with her bad. They dealt with her rough. I, I was um. She was on the show uh, Impact, Impact in New York or whatever. That's with Bernice and Bernice's daughter, a mm -hmm. bunch of other girls, and she was trying to get out of her contract. The man told her like a mill or something to get out the contract, and she was just like, it, they just dealt with her rough still. And they they should have done more with her too because she's talented. She looks good. She can actually rap. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it seems like she's open to take like. I don't know if she wrote it or not, even if she did or not. It, it she she performed it pretty fucking well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like again, fam, I, 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 it goes back to the. I, I guess it's not just a problem over here. Over there, it's a little bit different, just on a higher scale. Where it's just that they don't even know what to do with their artists either, because it's strange how somebody like Dream Doll hasn't made it musically. Which she, she's dope. She's pretty fucking dope to me. But that's but that's the thing, like what self and and them niggas, and this is what we see. This is what we hear. 
You know what I'm saying? We see them on the radio. They're bigging up the independent artists, and then we realize that these guys have artists themselves. And then, do you think the artist is just fucking? What's the word I'm looking for? They want like they wanna like backslap. No, it's um, uh, what's the word? Uh, what's the word? Um, I'm not selfish, but um, on. Oh no. Our artists. You got to help me here. When You know when somebody is like, you do for them, and they kind of like, they kind of like, they don't care almost, but they'll take it? Not envious. No. It's like, um, it's going to come to me. But do you feel like um, it's that way with self in them? Because it's like, like with Cardi's situation, and Cardi managed self in the beginning too, right? We're winning and shit, right? Mm-hmm. And then she got bigger than Our self. Club. Self managed her. Self managed her. Yeah, self was managing her with the Gwynin, and then she became and then bigger she became than bigger than, than self. Was. Yeah, right. So, now you don't you so- feel like the artist also too is to blame to say like, well, I'm bigger than you. I want out of my label, but like I've been like, how could you? I put in so much work into you. How could you? You can't just leave me like that. But you, I think you the, have to pay together this so, contract. So what she was saying was she was doing all the work. She was doing all the paying for everything. So she wasn't really getting anything from selfish side from the team. That's what she was seeing. So she was like, yo, you guys are not paying for anything. You guys are not doing anything. You're, and then you're also not letting none of my songs like go. So then like, what the fuck, right? I don't remember exactly how it was. The show came out like a couple of months ago. Mm-hmm. But she she had a, she was just saying pretty much I'm doing all the work and it doesn't make sense for me to be here. I get it, though. Like, if you sign a contract, you're fucked. So like, I get that part of it. If you sign a contract, hey, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Should have signed a contract. But, um, yeah, they just, at the same time, self in them should have did, like, you got to do more with your talented artist, fam. If you know mm-hmm. you have a talent, somebody like Dream Doll, she's hot, she's pretty. Again, like, going back to it, she she has, she just has something there. Mm-hmm. Me hearing that song, I was just like, yeah, Dream Doll should be on. But, again, make more songs like that. Pr- push her, promote her, and they weren't doing that. Again, like, I didn't see self promoting her on anything. Mm-hmm. It's not like it would be different if you, I don't know the situation with him and Cardi B on Love and Hip Hop, but you always see them together or him trying to promote Cardi B. I didn't even know she was signed to self. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying? That that shouldn't be. Self should be putting her out there a little bit more. Again, that's just my opinion. That's crazy still. You think it's so serious? Um, fuck, man. What else happened this week? Something else happened this week. Well, two Leos had a birthday party. <laughs> what? Oh fuck! It wasn't even that, but um, <laughs> Snoopy and and uh, I see, I see, both had uh, pool parties. I remember seeing that shit, and I'm like, hold on, I see having a pool party the same day as Snoop. I, like I had to go and like <laughs> see if it was real, fam. And then when I seen, I'm like, hold on, these motherfuckers are really, fam. They're trolling. They're I I I really feel like I and, and probably not because I see doesn't give a fuck but like I, when I see that I'm like yo both of them must have been like yo so we gonna do a party same day alive <laughs> I see's like well you know Stoopy you're a piece of shit but I like that idea still you know yeah, yeah. so I'm gonna get the woo 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 and you're gonna put the woo 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 and we're gonna get it together all right mm-hmm. say that then it's number one mm-hmm. and yeah so. We didn't see anything from Icy's pool party or event because apparently everybody was like, it's outside, so it's going to get rained in. Right. But if it was, if he has it at a house or a location, wouldn't he be able to just do it inside if it was raining? Well, not the pool <laughs> aspect, but yeah, the party aspect. Yeah, Yeah. so that's why when everybody was like, yo, the, that party is going to get cropped out because of the rain, I'm just like, but he has a house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I was so confused. I'm like, stop hating, fam. Like, just say that you guys just prefer Snoopy's party and done. Yeah. But yeah, Snoopy looked like he turned the fuck up at his party. He had the goat there and everything. Which is kind of getting, I hate saying that. Stale? Yeah. You're going to replay it out? Fam, Chromas did that like four years ago. I know. But have you seen it done after that? Yes. A lot? Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> That's why so it's So to like, you, it's in your vision. In yeah, your in my vision, thing. the gold thing is just like, all right, guys, find another one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Find a monkey or something or like, I don't <laughs> fucking know, a cheetah. Like, you have niggas scared. I don't fucking know. But do something creative. Bring a shark in there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't fucking know. Yeah. But um, that was there. Um. Yeah, he I did. Sh- I he should have brought a lion for being a Leo. That yeah, even a, that. that would have like, been something dope. like that. Yeah, but no pictures or videos of Icy's event. Maybe it didn't happen. You think that it probably cropped out? Yeah. We yeah. just said fuck it. Yeah, it, it's not. It's not worthy enough to for these photos, and he just took the L. You know, I don't like you guys. You guys are a piece of shit. All you guys want is motion. 
So I said, no, I'm not giving out no motion. I said, fuck the barbecue. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go chill out with my baby. <laughs> Kiss me, baby. <laughs> so yeah, no pictures or no videos of uh, of IC's event yet. So we can't think. Which one would you go to though? If you had to pick, IC or, or Snoopy? I'll go to Snoopy's. I would go to IC's, but none of his icebergs like me, so. <laughs> I, I I would have to go to Snoopy's because like all those icebergs are just gonna be there trying to crush me or like hate on me at this party. So yeah, I would have to go to Snoopy's. Yeah. Unfortunately, I, I mean yeah, I don't know nothing against the Mayu. I just would go to Snoopy's because like you know, I know that it's it's a it's a DJ. It's a, it's a party thing. You know what I'm saying? We know everything. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Everything shell out. Yeah, everything's cool. Also, I seen um Roshi had an event too that was really big. Cholo Cash had a, uh, a birthday party event. Solo YS had a birthday mm. party. Shout out Solo YS. Interview following just now. Is August the Toronto month? A lot of you guys are born in August. Though, like a lot lie. of the main players of, of in the city. I think D- DJ Andre 905 is August. Yes. Yeah, I seen that. Ricochet is August. Nice, because he's not here right now. <laughs> yeah, so he's August. I want to say like there's others too. Like there's definitely others, but I'm just not thinking of anybody right now. Mm-hmm. Is August, would you, like, which month would you say is, like, the Toronto month that, for the most people, like, it's just, like, like I'm, I'm looking at it, Carabana time, August, CNE, August, like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, like, mm-hmm. like, August really is Toronto's month, to me, in my opinion, then you have everybody's birthday, all the, all the, all the main players, all the, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, we, we, August makes Toronto move. It's like the it's cause August is, like, the last month to go back to, like, official business, like, the kids are going back to school, like, Everything is a wind down thing. So even if it's not your birthday, it's one of your friends' birthdays. Or like you said, the CNE is going in. Um fucking Carabano, um, Jamaica Day, like yeah, there's always something, going there's in always something happening in August because everything is about to wrap up for September. Uh, Wonderland, I heard a lot of people were going to Wonderland cottages. My my co worker went through his cottage this weekend. Like it's a lot of things happening because mm. they need to get out that last bit of fun. So yeah, I, I would say August definitely is is maybe not even just Toronto, maybe just Ontario's Ontario's month for everybody to just get that last bit of summer out of the system before going back to a program, especially when if you have kids and shit and families. Remember me, read Daniel. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm like yo, didn't we like? Didn't I talk to somebody or you talk to somebody? Read fucking Daniels. So finally got through. Yes. Finally got true. Shout out Dame from, uh, what is it again? The label there that uh, we also spoke to. But um, shout out 1111 to, I finally got to speak to to Mr. Ray Daniels from the Guard, Guard Up podcast. Um, one of my favorite guys out here when it comes to music and just the, the business, uh, moving the culture, all that stuff, man. Really, really dope conversation with him. Um, yeah, here, here's this guy right now. Um, two lost, two lost music distribution. Mm. Uh, shout out Dame from over there. So yeah, we were talking, we were in there and, um, I was just, uh, um, trying to tell him like, um, well, obviously we shout out the man, him, whatever, but I was trying to tell him, like, I feel like, you know, Toronto's at a stalemate right now. Like how do we move it a little bit forward and whatnot? And he was saying same thing I was speaking about with solo YS, like, you know, one, the man, need to stop making excuses because it's like Toronto gives free money out here. So it's like there should be no excuses for anything, and this should be like we have the biggest artists in the world. Like this is our time to build a sound, to build whatever it may be that we need to build to be successful out here. Like nobody knows anything about Toronto, mm. so let people know what Toronto is. That's why he said uh, he gave uh, Eleven Eleven the idea with the whole oh you know like these pl- these blocks of Toronto and these places in Toronto. He gave him the idea because again. Nobody really truly knows Toronto like that. Mm. So until we give people a reason to to rock with us other than Drake, it's just like, yeah, like, hey man, don't make excuses. Don't don't think you can't can't sit down there and say, okay, well, because Drake is the first artist and this and then the third. No, he said like stop with the excuses. We get free money out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No Americans, they they ain't getting no grants and shit like that. So he's like, yeah. He's like, y- y'all niggas need to just put in the work. He's like, he just feels like the man ain't working hard enough. I think he's telling the truth. The hundred percent. Oh, I know he's, he's telling the truth. The truth. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, like now I have a lot of time. I'm definitely gonna look for some money, especially with the grants and shit. 
Mm-hmm. And with that being said, and I think I know exactly what Ray Daniels is saying, like, people don't know about Toronto. We need to start, like, I, I can only keep stressing you directors, bro, these guys that make shit, music videos and shit, like, go and make a Toronto fucking story, bro. Fact. Go and make a fucking film about, about this. It doesn't matter what story you're telling, bro. So if it's an immigrant story, um, trying to struggle and succeeds and falls again, if it's a true crime story, if it's a love story, but Toronto, they need to see Toronto places. They need to see Toronto's beauty and they need to hear Toronto's stories. You're not going to get that anymore than making films about it. We're going to see it. People from all over Canada are going to see it because they want to come to Toronto and see what it's about. If we don't make those films, then they'll never know. How do you think money and violence, how do you think we know about Brooklyn and shit? Money and violence, um, respect life, life. all these little places make us know what the fuck New York City is. Even before that, you have like um, paid in full. Paid in full, exactly. Um, we had um, in, uh, um, what's it called? L.A. with um, the Shield. What the fuck? We know about Rampart and them shit. We don't live over there, but we know about that. You know what I'm saying? San Bernardino and and Mayans and the Suns mm. and all that shit in Cali. You know what I'm saying? We know about we know about certain things that we we that that we know about from other people. Fuck, we even know um, City of God in Brazil and all those places because they fucking filmed. They took their time and they made a story about where they were from. You know what I'm saying? If we don't do that properly, or if it's not made by people that are from that, then nobody's gonna know what this shit's what what the city's about. Right. It could be fiction, it could be nonfiction, it could be based on fam, it could be anything, but we need to start building these stories, bro. Well, like I said, dock you dock you up. Fam, yeah, we're, we're, fam, we're gonna have to do it, bro, because this is it's getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous. Like I'm back in the studio now. I'll be making beats. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I'm making my I'm making. I'm trying to make a sound or something. I don't care, bro. But like, if we don't control even our music, 100 percent of our music and all of our royalties and mechanicals, then what the fuck are we really doing? Going on, like we ask the man, you what? Where's the beat from? Don't even put me on the spot. He doesn't even know where he gets his beats from. And but they have a producer out there. Like start using the people around you. It doesn't make no sense to be going on internet when you have a guy that makes beats that you know a person. It's actually probably backwards. It is backwards. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what I'm saying. Sometimes we have to blame it on the producer, but more times, sometimes it is the artist because they're chasing the... I wouldn't say they're chasing the clout, but they're chasing <clears throat> the sound that's familiar to the masses. You have to blame the artist because they're not just educating themselves on what to do. Like so many Toronto artists just get to a certain point and then it's just like okay well what else you don't see them trying to leave you don't even trying to say okay well let me let me get a plan i'll save up some money i'll tell an artist from the states to come down here Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i'll i'll work with them do a one two tracks with them put it out there's nothing there's no plan and that's the biggest problem is just like yes we can blame the we can blame the producer for the sound aspect of it yeah but we can't blame them for artists being lazy no we can't blame these guys forever. <laughs> I sit down and argue with this guy forever about a certain artist. And it's like, I keep telling him, fam, they need a hit. I don't care how much money they have. I don't care what the bag looks like outside. If you're going to sit down here and I put you on, I don't, and I leave you off a list and you're going to complain, that means you need a hit still. Mm. That means that music is still important to you. That means like, you still have to push for that. Mm-hmm. I don't care how old you are, how young you are, whatever. Still make great music. And that Toronto's, I think Toronto has three problems. The entitlement. These niggas do not know how to make fucking good music. And these niggas don't want to spend money. Mm. The, the, those are the three biggest problems that if they change that, then some of them would work. Correction. They don't want to spend money on the things they need to spend money on. They would spend money Musically. in the studio all the time. No, they'll spend. They'll spend. I niggas spend money at the studio, especially but that's if they're different. They, but that's what I'm saying. But when it comes to saying, pay this blog to get your song out to their market, I want to have to pay a blog for it. If that, uh, well, yeah, they're, they're not doing or, that. Or or pay for a feature. Pay for somebody to react to your video. Pay uh, for these. They're not they're doing not, that. They're not, they're do not doing that. But you have to pay for the studio time because who else is going to engineer your shit? Man, some t- <laughs> nigga, trust me, people. Don't no, people know how to do it, but like, 
again, are you going to go through the headache of, oh, my God, I got to go beg somebody or one of my yeah, virgins some, to go sit down there? Yeah, some people would do it. Some people But some people do don't it. know or have those people to do it. So that's why it's easier to just, yo, I'll pay an engineer how, many, how much dollars, and he could just do that, send it to me, and boom, bop. And that way, too, I can more bat him up than I can bat up a street nigga that probably has a burner on him anyways. <laughs> I think of what I'm saying. So those guys, I don't know. But, yeah, these niggas got to stop being lazy. Toronto, like, stop with the excuses, bro. I don't want to hear no excuses from any artist, especially when, from when, again, like the man said, yo, you guys get free money out here? You guys get grants? <laughs> so, do better, city. Um, Sauce Walker took shots at Drake. Again, what did he say? Oh, he's saying about the Houston heat because <clears throat> well, Drake uh got his citizenship, citizenship to be yeah, a part I, of Texas, I guess, a Texas citizen. And I guess that nigga don't learn, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, his dad is from there. Why wouldn't you want to? Why wouldn't you want to? Like, he if you want to take it in a technical aspect, the man is half American, he's not, he's not just fully Canadian, he's half American, half Canadian. If he wants to take, fucking, he wants to take citizenship in Texas. How much time did he live in Texas? I'm pretty sure he didn't he spend his summers there. Oh yeah, his summers there when I'm he was doing sure. the summers when he was filming the grassy. I, I don't know. I the don't summers know. when he was I don't filming know. the grassy. No, I'm just oh, okay. saying I'm if just he take if he wants to if he wants to be a part of where his dad is, you know what I'm saying where dad is from. Then I don't see that as a as a wrong thing. But I do agree with Sauce Walker about the uh, about the colonization thing. I was just going back to that. He's not making himself look any better when it comes to that. He's not. You know what I mean? At all. It's rough for him right now. <laughs> I don't know. He has his back on the wall is right now, Drake boy. Come home. Come home, man. <laughs> you already have a home here. Just come, bro. Like, just, Fam. Just kick up with the, with the people, then, man. <laughs> I can't say anything, because I'm going to look like a fucking hater anything I say on this topic other than Bun B also responding because he said that Bun B wasn't from Houston. <laughs> Which is a wild fucking statement to make. What do you say? He's from Port MacArthur? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what he said, right? Yeah, I'm Port MacArthur. from MacArthur. Port MacArthur. I'm from this and then the third. And Bumby's like, nah, fam, I'm from here and here. Went to school here or born here. I was like, G Chief. No, no, I think Thing is not from. It was, it, It's um, Pimp. That's not from. Uh, Houston? Pimp is from Port MacArthur. <clears throat> like, through and through. Regardless, those two are like, even if he wasn't, fam. They rep, they rep Houston. Like, without Bun B, Houston ain't what it is. So, I don't even give a fuck. Like, I don't know Houston music without Bun B. So, mm. yeah. Like, yeah, you don't diss him regardless. Um, It's like, it's kind of like, I don't know if he, is Rochester from Toronto? I don't know. I always, there was always a conversation, like, he's not really from Toronto. He was like some, from somewhere else, and then he came here and got lit. I don't know. I don't know Rochester's story. We'd have to ask um, my boy. Want to yeah. ask him? No. <laughs> <laughs> I should. I, I want to ask him and burn him. But we're filming, so uh, <laughs> we want to know if Rochester's from here. <laughs> I don't. Um, <laughs> I'm so petty. Yeah. Um, but yeah. <sighs> Who else has Drake worked with in Houston? Though? Travis Scott, Beyonce, B Bun B. That's where the list stops. <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you, Drake, this needs to come the fuck home, bro. I, I can't stress this more than enough that these motherfuckers are going to find everything. They're going to find every little thing, and they're going to pick at him. And, hey, fuck. It looks pickable. It does. It looks pickable. Drake, you're diabolical. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you're diabolical, you still. <laughs> diabolical, Drizzy. Yo, Drake is a sicker man. Diabolical. <laughs> you, Yo, sir, are diabolical. Yo, how you go? <laughs> how you go to all these places and like take their sauce and get more lit than them, fam? Yo, he's sick. Diabolical. He's a sick dude still. He's yeah, cold. Drake, come home, fam, because yeah, these guys, these guys don't like you, fam. They yeah. don't like you. Yeah, they don't like him still. We need to get Sauce Walker on here, man. We can get some money up and then we need to get him over here. <clears throat> him and Bambi. Who? His girl. Oh, I, I'm like, we already have Bambi on the show. Like, not chill that, out. Not that Bambi. Chill out. The redhead. Um, that's his shawty? Dude, who told me that's his girl? You told me that's his girl. So somebody yeah. told me the Bambi Redhead is like that's the one. And she's from down here. You weren't in that call. No. It was me, Gucci, and Homeboy. 
And he was like, yo, that Bambi Doe girl. He was like, Drake, did you follow her? Bambi Doe, that's like a Sauce Walker's fucking thing. That's his bottom us. And that's the one that makes him all the fucking time. He's like, yo, check out our OnlyFans. You can see him slapping it up. <laughs> <laughs> and she's from out here. <clears throat> she used to run with Stacy and them. Oh, yeah? And he fucking bagged it. That was it. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Ain't it? Um, did you hear about 50 Sherverport Sh- 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 yes. event? Yes, I did. Yeah? Yes, I, heard I, it, did. I heard it was a super fucking dope event. Like, you know what I'm saying? Beer people came out. They had, like, the music side. They had, like, a comedy section and shit. Mm-hmm. Gallatin were out there. Like, mm. the cars were out there. It was, it was just a pretty freaking good event. Not everybody was, was happy, though. I think a few people weren't happy. Now, if you can, go on 50 Cent's page, because I think Lunell was the first person to complain. She was. Mm-hmm. She, I think more people complain, but I see here that Lunell was probably one of the first people to complain about it. Let me see this. And he posted Lunell? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, right here. So run that. I'm going to see what that. that the game is still so misogynistic because I just heard about this um, comedy festival that my dear friend 50 is having, like right now. And I haven't seen the paperwork. I don't know. But from what I have heard, there's not a... I was on, I, People I know were on planes flying to where it's taking place. And there were several comedians on the plane, but not one female comic. Not one. Now, this may be mistaken, this is the information I've gotten. And and I and I love 50. I did power book go, ghost book too. Uh I know he's a comedy fan, but there are men and women in the audiences at these shows. So I think that fair representation only makes sense. Now, other people might argue that there's no females really generating heat right now. I know that I am because of the sellout crowds that I get. However, I was not asked to participate, number one, and I'm booked and busy anyway. I couldn't do So his caption was um, that they saw that she was booked already. That's why they didn't ask her. Yeah. Like, the people are so fucking weird, man. Now, she said that there's no females on the The thing. The comedian part of it. Yes, no comedian females. And she's not lying, though. (laughs) <laughs> so I think that's an issue within itself. Like, but if there's no comedian, female comedian that's hot right now, then what the fuck is what? What, what is the point? So you're gonna try and tell me that there's not one female comedian in the world that's not hot right now? Yeah. Who? I don't fucking know, but I'm just saying there's n- there's not one person that you can go holla at that's even like semi hot or even somebody that you could just give a chance to and just be like, hey, shorty, you know what I'm saying? I see you blowing up or you're trying to do a thing. Like, no, <laughs> there's none right now. Even if you think about it at the top of your head, if you were a businessman and you had to book a, a comedy show and 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 and, there, and you have to book one female art like female comedian, at right off the top of your brain, who are you booking? Cause there's nobody <laughs> hot right now. What's your name is not hot. The fucking girl that Tiffany used to work Haddish? with Tiffany Haddish is not hot she's right never now. Been hot. Well, that, I hear what you're saying, though. You know she's been saying? hot. She's been hot. She's but just not she funny. has been. She's not funny. That's what I meant to say. You know what I mean? Um, obviously. Uh, Lou Nell is always in. She's in Vlad and stuff like that. She could be hot. She's okay. You could probably book her in. But realistically, it wasn't like the the hot com- female comedians wasn't given to the females this year. That's Cat's fault. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because Cat turned everybody up. And then you have guys like fucking, um, what's the big boy's name, man? I'm forgetting everybody today, bro. <clears throat> Drewski. Like Drewski and those kind of comedians, they're hot, but there's no females like that right now either. If there was a female like Drewski or the homeboy that did the <laughs> that guy, if they had a guy, if they had a female that's doing stuff like that, then you would book. <laughs> I would have booked them. You know what I'm saying? There's no females that's doing even skits and shit, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I can't remember the youth's name, but I know it's <laughs> Desi Banks. Desi Banks. Desi Banks. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Desi, man. But yeah, oh, fuck him up. It's just hard. But yeah, there's no female acts as hot, and that's fine. It's just like it's like the man them. Like if you're gonna book a fucking rap show, there's not really niggas that's hot. There's all the bitches. I'm booking bitches. What niggas gonna be like? Yeah, they booked all the gal them, but they never booked no man them. 
They never book no one up man. Like you saying you couldn't book one man? I'd get you. <laughs> the fuck? Fucking even um, you know who else was cheese? Mm-hmm. About um the performance aspect of shit. Um, Hurricane Chris. Oh, Halle Berry, Halle Berry, Hurricane Chris. He was pissed. Why was he cheese? He's like, oh, we come to Shreveport, blah blah. You don't have no, you don't have a, a Shreveport artist. You don't have a Baton Rouge artist. Blah blah. You come to the other. But Master gave, P was there. You gave five hundred million to the cops. You don't put nothing in the oh. kids' them hands. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. Like he was pissed. Mm-hmm. But he's wrong. Cause Federal Bag was there and Master P was there. So I heard. Now, I want to say this. Do you know why 50 Cent was there? We're trying to build the fucking studio there. There's three studios that Louisiana has. They have uh, three movie studios, see, mm-hmm. that the city has that I don't think... I know one of them has been out of commission since 2016. He's coming there to buy the studio, and apparently it's already bought. Mm. He already bought one of the studios. So before you start acting mm. stupid and going on dumb and shit, find out the real reason why he's there. The real reason why is to make a bag, and then he went to go party with the people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but even the, even what he did there, it's not just making a bag for himself. He's making a bag for the city it's itself. It's for the you're bring, city. You're bringing when you do events like that, it brings in revenue for the city. Exactly. When you're giving money, it doesn't matter if it's to the cops or whatever. You're giving money mm. for the people, my nigga. People are going to be in a happier place. Like he has a film studio in Shreveport, Louisiana. Now, what could he do with that? Bring the stories of Louisiana to the fucking to the masses. You know what I'm saying? He could hire new writers, new actors, <clears throat> people of the film world in there and fucking just develop the stories. It's just be, yeah, go, you guys make something, let me see it and see what I'll go on. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? Another version of the wire can come out of Louisiana. But you, and you, you Hurricane Chris could have been a part of that. But now you no, fucking. Not anymore. Exactly. 50's a petty nigga. He's not gonna, you bat him up, he's, you're done. You're gonna be the first what? nigga that dies in it when every any movie or whatever you're gonna see in a Hurricane Chris ass nigga <laughs> die in that show, <laughs> guaranteed, fam. He's the first. I just don't like when people rant without like figuring out the reason, and that's because when he was saying all that shit, and I was reading the comments, and I I swear I was like <clears throat> 14 minutes when he posted that into the comments, mm. and I'm like Broski, like, and I checked the news, even the news was on this nigga, like. Oh, 50 Cent is in town and blah, blah, blah. Like, they have him on the local news, bro. Fox, they have him everywhere. 50 Cent's a big deal. When a 50 Cent comes to your city, like, he's coming to do business, not just to party. Think a big man like that is just coming to there to just a fucking party? Yeah, He much. comes down to Toronto <clears throat> to do what? <clears throat> to figure out the Wasser story. He's not coming down to Toronto just to go to 44 or whatever, or Cabana and just turn up with the man. Them. He's coming down to figure out what's going on with this Wasser thing. I want to develop it. What are we doing? You think he's like, come on, there's and the movie, there's movie sets here too. It's cheap. The man filmed Get Rich or Die Trying out here. You think mm. he's gonna forget shit? Come Makes on, sense. come on, bro. Like, you guys are playing with this guy. That's why this guy gets cheap. That's why he doesn't help nobody because these guys are, you guys piss him off all the time. It's the Drake effect. I think that's why he, he relates to Drake and those guys so much because it's just like, it's the same thing. You're like, you know, I understand why Drake doesn't help people. You know what I'm saying? Because the nigga like Sauce walking me. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day you do so much for people and then they claim that they don't do nothing it's like do you know what I'm doing in my day to day behind the scenes to get shit lit the man has a I don't know bro the yeah Hurricane Kiss go make some hits bro yeah like go to the studio bro not fucking complaining yeah, you man. just got freed up when you're just dealing with a case and now you I get it you're trying to get lit but you're going about it the wrong way he beat up his case or something I swear he beat yeah he it beat up. up his case or whatever you know he what did saying? he beat up his case but this is not the way to go get lit you know what I'm saying go help instead of you complaining you go help the one just one of the young youths uh, I'm saying also Uncle Murder must have ran into Little Rod <laughs> I see that he took a picture they said I want my money by Monday he took a video and said they want their money, money by <laughs> Monday that's wild <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Uncle Murd is not playing. He's going to put that in a bar next to it, it, this It's year. funny that I seen this, and it, I guess it could go into the conversation that I was having or wanted to have because somebody kind of got at me. They were It wasn't like a bad getting at me, but we see Uncle Murder with my boy's accuser, right? Diddy's accuser? Yeah, Diddy's accuser, right? Mm-hmm. If this was difference in the streets, technically that would be he would be looked at as a snitch. Diddy's accuser? Yes, because he's accusing Diddy of something. He's uh, he's a, he's accusing Diddy of harassing harassing him sexually. 
How's your snitch? Okay. He would be... The victim. Yes. Yeah, but he's still snitching on... He's telling situations about Diddy. Are you not supposed to? As an abuser? As being a, a man being abused? As a victim? Hear me out. Because <laughs> this is going to get tricky. If he's telling it about himself, that's cool, I guess. But what if he's, like, if he's exposing other stuff? Like what? Just other Diddy stuff in general. My whole okay. Is it, is, does it, it does it does it does it lead to Diddy being abusing people? Does is it, it like to awareness? Exposing Diddy. Let's just say Diddy has. Let's just say Diddy is has a fucking sex ring or illegal sex trafficking or human trafficking. He's pimping out girls and doing all that. Technically, if a man's exposing that, that's still pimping. Or that's still snitching. Sorry. If he's exposing that part of his life, and it doesn't directly affect. Him, <clears throat> like if he wasn't a part of that ring, then yes, that's snitching. If he wasn't a part of that ring, and he was just being abused and fucked and raped and stuff, and he's telling his story, he's not snitching. I know what you're trying to say here. It's like, oh, I got hurt. I saw him do that to somebody. Mm -hmm. I saw him do this to somebody and then sell coke the next day. Yeah, he's riding on him, for sure. So now the reason why I say this too is because like we see Uncle Murder with them, we see Six Nine with, with people with Six Nine, the Gunner situation, the YSL Woody situation, right? Like, has snitching, the whole culture in general, the street culture, has it divided us? Because it's like we we all look at, at the snitching a certain way, but now it's just like okay, well that person's a civilian, so this or that person's this, that person's this. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like. You see certain things like this, like I'm, like it's hard to say because I feel like if this was anybody else, or maybe if it, maybe Uncle Murder is a little bit older and he's mature and he's just like all right, and he fucks with fifty and it's like fuck Diddy kind of thing. But I feel like if this is anybody else, he's not fucking with Little Rock. Mm. I think he'd be like, yeah, you're getting your body fucked out. You know what I'm saying you're tattletaling, like run up you. <laughs> <laughs> but like now it's kind of like a situation where it's just like okay, we pick or choose because we don't fuck with a certain nigga. We'll be okay with what if you're considered riding or snitching. I see what you're saying. And this is why I feel like it's divided us and the whole thing is mashup. Because the person did co comment and say, like, yo, you know, like, the whole snitching thing, like, it's a divide thing. You can't really be, like, pushing that narrative out there, like, you know what I'm saying? That people shouldn't snitch and then that a third. I'm like, yes, to an extent. I'm like, I'm still ignorant one. You know what I'm saying? I still got a lot of hood <laughs> in me. And I've been riding on from, from, from people, so... When you get ratted on, it's just like you, you just look at yeah, yeah. You, you just look at these people differently. Like I can't, especially when you know what you signed up for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if you're a man that knew what you signed up for and then you end up just telling on anybody, I don't give a fuck what it's for. You you deserve belt. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying you deserve to get belted. Yeah. But um yeah, do you feel like it's divided? Do you feel like the, the whole culture of the snitching thing has divided us as a people? I think that like whether it divided us, it goes back to what you guys used to say earlier on, and I believe it went back to the old show. The the the, the snitching, the ratting, it's it only affects a small subset of people. Mm. It's not like it's not affecting me, you, homeboy outside. Snitching doesn't affect him. Mm. Me, you, on the other hand, raised on the block, a little bit in the streets, tough life. It kind of affects us. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, the people in this building that we're even in, <clears throat> how much of them really are affected by that? So, would you say it's like a metro housing thing? Like, I shouldn't even say metro housing. A project housing, thing. Like a project maybe thing, like yeah. A, like a pro yeah, if you live project in the projects, mentality. if you live in the hoods. I wouldn't even say, yeah. Like, it's more of like a... Because we can look at some of these people like they're outside, but some of them do live in those 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 situations, situations yes. now, and they're learning how to get themselves out of it, kind of thing. And no, actually, no, 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 no. I wouldn't even say it's a project thing. I would say or a project thing. I would say it's more of like a like a group thing because even police <laughs> are are locked down to that code too. You know what I'm saying? If like I was just I'm rewatching the wire. I remember when they fucking when uh, my boy hit the youth with the gun, lost his eye and shit. Um, yeah. Fucking um, uh, the Prince Bulewski. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, "Yo, I did it because I was angry." And then and then um, what's his name? The Daniels was like, "No, this is what happened. You better get your story straight. 
before IA, whatever, whatever. Mm. So you can't be snitching on anybody in that situation you, before IA really tears down the whole situation, like the whole shit. You mm. know what I'm saying? So even they can't be around a rat because if they're doing certain things that may be looked at like, what the fuck are you guys on? They have to be like, it, it can't be on some, well, this guy's a goody two-shoe cop and he sees us maybe skimming off the top or not really charging people for dope. They'll throw it away. And, you know what I'm saying? He'll go to the fucking, to the, to the um, sergeants and be like, yo, I seen this guy. do that. They find that out. They're crushing that. Or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but then in the other thing, Carver ended up ratting on the group and he got fucking blessed for it. So if you remember, Carver was giving the other black, the head black cop. The deputy the, ops, the right? Deputy, he was get, he, Burrell. Well, I can't remember his, his name. His name is Burrell. Yeah. yeah. But he was giving him the information on what the fucking was team was doing. Yes, yes, and yes. And then after, later on in the seasons, they ended up um, fucking giving him up or uh, giving him the better spots and shit like that. But look so, how he felt at the end of that. Felt he like felt a piece like a shit. piece of shit because it's still ratting, my nigga. At the end of the day, you ratted out your team, broski. And they still ended up... Winning the war mm-hmm. in that sense, yeah. While he, yeah, he had to fucking rat to glow up, but you, you're, you're now you're looked at as a piece of shit to your peers. Yeah. So while well, going with your fucking promotion, your raise, but you can't come around us, nigga. Yeah, you can't, you can't be with you know the what dogs. What I'm saying? But like I said, like it's just two certain subsets of people. I want to, I wouldn't put it to a, a project thing, but it's just certain subsets of people, people that do crime. You know what I'm saying, even people at work. I'm not writing on my co-worker because they want to go home early. I'm not telling my boss that. I'm going to cover him. Idiot. You know, do you understand know what I'm saying? Maybe he's sick. He's not feeling well. Those things, you'd be like, oh, I better go tell the boss. Like, no, I'm not telling no. I'm going to be like, right, yo, do your thing. I'll cover you for you. I got you. Mm. Do you understand know what I'm saying? That's still kind of like a non-snitching thing. You know what I'm saying? So it all depends, bro. Like, it all depends. I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't even say it's a divide. It's more of, like you said, I think it is got down to I don't rock with that person. You could do whatever the fuck you want to do with him. As long as you cool over here. Is that the divide you're talking about? Yes. Wh- whereas we don't care if you did that to that person as long as you never did it with me. Yeah. Then yeah. <laughs> then we're definitely at a divide. Sticky, man. Um, well, who were we just talking about again? No, well, we're a little rod in them. Little rod in them, yeah. And well, Diddy and shit. Good luck. Yeah. Shout out Diddy son. Um <laughs> Another list that I wanted to get at that we never spoke about was the complex um, media list. Oof. So they had the top um, uh, hip hop media power ranking. It came out like <sighs> last month or something. <clears throat> um, they I, I can't remember. I believe there was twenty five, but it was I wanted, fifty. There was fifty. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read some of the twenty five, and I just want to think if you think they should be higher or lower. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go through not all of them, but okay. I'm just gonna go through them, and you tell me if they should be higher or lower. Okay. So we got Jason Lee at twenty three. Higher or lower? Who? Jason Lee. Oh, Holly, this Hollywood is, Unlocked. This is like top influencers? This What's is hip hop media, hip hop media power ranking. So last Oh, okay, so, okay, 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 okay. So Jason Lee at 25? Yeah. Higher. You think he should be higher? Yeah, I think so. Cool. Um Adam 22, number 22. Higher. Traplo Ross, number 20. Higher. Nadeska, number 19. Lower. She's definitely lower. Off the list. <laughs> the fuck? Sway Calloway, 18. L- L- Sway? Like Sway in the morning? Yeah. <coughs> he should be like 20. Lower. A- Angela Lee. Angela Yee? Lower. Seven, yeah, holy. Off the 17. list. 17. Lower. Wow. She's not a... She doesn't... No. Big lower. boy, 16. Big boy in the house? Yeah. He should be where Sway is in the 20s. Angie Martinez, 15. Lower. Off the list. I didn't even know she does radio. Bootleg Kev, 14. Lower. You're fucking crazy. Bootleg Kev, the freestyle guy that does the freestyle radio he doesn't stuff? He does just the freestyle radios, but he has podcasts. He has a couple everything. interviews here and there, but ain't whatever. You're crazy. You're crazy. He, he, got got the, he got the one with Sauce Walker. That's it. That's the, that's no, the best he one he got this no, year. He's got a, no, that's he got the, the other one. He got another one this year that was pretty viral when them nigga walked off on him. I, didn't, I, did, I do remember that one. Yes. I think it was the ESTG. Oh, yes. But what number? And he has an NBA Youngboy interview. But you're what number? But what number? 14. 14. It used to ask me higher or lower? Yeah, and lower. you said it should be lower. Maybe 15 then. You're crazy. Mm-hmm. Rory and Maul, 13. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. 26. <laughs> Off the list. They shouldn't be on the list. We Little should... Yachty and Mitch, 12. Lower. Yeah, they should be lower. Noriega, 11. Lower. 
they should be yeah they should be 15 or 14 it needs to be lower they, ever since diddy uh, when diddy got locked up their show fell the fuck off they got that good buju one though I, I won't lie buju gave them good content though i would say with nori and them it all depends on who comes on the show and what they give them because buju was talking like he was talking yeah because he's actually able to talk because nori's not going to really know what to talk about yeah we're just yeah. going to allow him to talk not where at 10 we're not even going to argue with that. Not where at 10? We're not arguing. Not where I'm not, to be I'm, on there. Top yeah. 10 Canadian, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Nine, Gillian Wallow. Yeah, okay, All right, let's stay. Um, Anthony Fatino. I don't know who that the is. Need, um, he's on the needle drop. A uh, YouTuber. Seven, Ebro. Lower. DJ Vlad, six. Elliot Wilson, Higher. five. Elliot Wilson, lower. Charlemagne the God, four. Lower. Kai Sanat, three. Higher. Joe Button, two. Academics Stay. one. So who you? So you Kai's said that Kai Sinat should be Kai Sinat first as a hip hop media guy over academics. What's, is the, crazy. what's what is the actual thing? First of all, it's a hip hop media um thing. It's called the complex complex hip hop media power ranking. Okay, yeah, Kai Sinat should be one. You're crazy. You know why? Why? Because everybody goes to Kai now. Whether Kanye drops a piece of clothing, he's making content out of it. Drake drops a new song with Yadi. He's listening to it. Everybody's reacting. Mm -hmm. He has an interview with Ice Spice. She tells him freestyle. He's twerking. Like, he's still hip-hop. He's still presenting these hip-hop cases. Yes. And he has a massive amount of streams and views. Facts. So that's why he needs to be number one now. He doesn't need to be number one because he's not fully just hip-hop. Yes, he dwells into hip-hop stuff. And hip-hop people rock with him because of the nature of his fucking platforms. Huge. Academics is a hip hop platform. Yes, he rocks with politics and some other stuff. That nigga is hip hop. During we we spoke about this, the Drake fucking Kendrick breakdown. That nigga was on there every fucking day breaking down shit like we've never seen before. Kaisenat's not really breaking down shit, hip hop shit like that. I think Kaisenat also has a certain media bias that whoever he fucks with, he fucks with. You're not gonna see like. Certain people that don't fuck with academics, your academics is still going to speak about them and have certain conversations, whether it be he's totally yellow taping them or whether he's just having a regular conversation with them because he's he's media. He's going to break down the numbers, the streams. Like, I just feel like academics does deserve number one. That That's just me. I just feel like you can't, like, I'm not, and this is, fam, Joe's under number two. I, I, I could have been just like Joe, but like academics really does deserve the number one hip hop media spot. Now, if you're saying it was, like, streaming or something else, cool, you could give it to Kai. But if you're talking about hip-hop media and breaking down hip-hop media, interviews, like, come on, like, Kai Sanat really ain't interviewing motherfuckers when they go up there. He's just having fun. And there's nothing wrong with that. But academics is really giving people, like, interviews, breaking down people's shit, like, asking questions about the music, the Sauce Walker shit that he had, the, the interview with Sauce Walker, pretty fucking dope. Young and Ace interview that he did. Like, I don't know, man. I, I have to give it to Ak. You make a good case for Ak. <laughs> You're like a part of the fucking academic community or something, Chinese. the way how you broke it down. Chinese. Shit. Chinese, we need the scorpions in the comments, bro. <laughs> Let me see the scorpions in the comments. That's crazy. You but broke yeah. it down real good. All right, now, yeah, you know what? You sold me. Yeah, academic. What, what did Kendrick say? Um, I, um, you think you can compromise? I can see this thing on Ak. <laughs> like, come on, <laughs> So yeah, I, but yeah, I, I I like those lists, and I'll 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 add one, or I'll add a question for you. Mm. Who's the first Canadian that you think that's gonna be on there? Man, oh no no sorry sorry Toronto fuck? man because they, they they do have um my boy under Nardwar under Nardwar. The the first Canadian is gonna be the man them the. What were you saying next year? Yeah, it's gonna be gutsy guts on that list next year. You gotta get to work then, bro. Yeah. More than me, man. Bumba uh, 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 It's an influencer. Uh, 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 yeah, the man. Yeah, Gutsy guys has to be up there, man. Maybe me, but it'll be more Guts. It's going to be more youth. I'm, I'm a pimp. They ain't going to get me. <laughs> they they love, we know what that pimp is they, 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 they love pimps in the States, man. In some certain places mm -hmm. in the States, man. Don't worry, you but good. You know, everybody's going to come mess with complex. Yo, you know that nigga's a pimp, right? And they're going to be like, so? <laughs> oh, so? Did like, he fucking touch girls? Is he a diddler? That's what you're going to say. Is yeah, he an abuser? And they're going to gonna say, yeah. <laughs> then they're going to say, bring the paperwork. Where's the file? And then they're, they're going to... The one, the one fucking article. <laughs> Come on. They act like those guys don't do their homework, my nigga. They have, fam, like, media is all tied together. Everything is tied together. They'll figure it out, man. 
There's like shit that you can go online and read people's cases. That's how I figured out the TZ stuff. It's like a document about his pretrial and it's fucking. You could just read that shit. Also for members only. Or do we yeah, put it's it for out? members only, and it sucks because I thought it was for our subscribers. But you actually have to pay for that shit to watch it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, members, I, you have to fine. pay. Yeah, well, that's fine. That's if you want to see it, members only. We have a super fucking dope doc- documentary, and we're gonna start putting out a lot of other stuff on like the members only. We're gonna start putting up the Patreon just now. We have a lot of dope stuff coming up. So yeah, man. Tap in, man. Tizzy Stacks interview, really, really good documentary that Vegas put together, man. And not an interview, but yes, yeah, a documentary. Documentary that you, I said an interview. Yeah, T D Stacks interview, but it's a documentary. Oh, T D Stacks <laughs> docu series or part of a docu series that we're putting together. It's called Miss Potential. It might be a little bit harsh. People are like, oh, that's kind of harsh. Actually, it was going to be called um, Wasted Potential. Yeah. But someone said, nah, that's a little bit too negative. Still, like it's dark. I'm not, yeah. That shit is dark. Yeah. Um, before we get out of here, what else is going on? Did you see the the my girl got arrested? Which one? The fucking Disney girl. Who? Shay Jackson. Is that her name? About the, oh abusing her man. Yeah, she's <laughs> a boyfriend. Well, was he abusing her? No, fucking no. Uh, well, He's fuck. white, so we'll never know. Uh, He's Albanian, but th- them skinny them skinny girls like them white guys because yeah. I seen um Raquel um Raquel she got married to a white you too. Raquel. Yeah, from Raising Canaan. Oh yeah. No, she got married to a, a white man, Patina, whatever, whatever her name is, Patina Miller. Patina Miller, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why Gianni's been on her all the time. Gianni's <laughs> on her. He likes her. And Bra- you seen Braden's not rocking with they not like us. He's OVO I know. Braden. I know. OVO, <laughs> OVO Weston. <laughs> he was just like this. OVO Weston, you see thing. I I really think Tariq smashed um my girl in real life too. Mm. His baby moms in the show. Yeah, they, they they look way too friendly every time they linking up. They, uh, so we probably did a thing, tried a thing, and it didn't work. <laughs> or it didn't, just cool or they didn't. It, is hiding it. Who knows? I don't know. That's just my opinion. I mean, um, shit, right? That's fine. Is there any movies or TV shows? Or anything that came out? Nah, just that I watched Deadpool and Wolverine. I don't know if we yeah. spoke about it. Uh, I spoke about it. You spoke about it last. last your last year review, or whatever. Yeah, I what finally you, watched it. What do you think? Shit. You. The movie's so garbage. Garbage. I don't. I never. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it, man. You know I what else like I tried it. to watch last night? Twisters. Oh, the new one. Part yeah, two? I tried to watch it too. Not good as. I don't know. Like I fell asleep, maybe because I was sick, but like. I don't know. It's it's, I don't know. I don't even remember the first one. That's the thing. <laughs> So I don't know what it's about. It's just about uh, just it's about people tornadoes, niggas chasing, chasing tor- tornadoes. People are chasing tornadoes, right? But Tornado like, what chasers. is the pr- what is the point of that? Like, you know, I know with this one, it was more of like two. There was two tornadoes because the first when they caught when she got caught up in the first one, her t- her and her team, her and her next boy survived, but the next all the rest of the tree them dead off, and it was like an E five or something. So obviously, so I think that she first met the two tornadoes that time. So five years late, five years later. The one my youth's working for the government, and she's working in New York. You know what I'm saying? And and she's he's coming back to draw for her on some bullshit like, oh, uh, I need your help. You're the only one that can help me. Nigga, work for the government and working around all these people. You went to your fucking home girl from the <laughs> fucking Oklahoma to say you're the only one that can do this. Ooh, that's what that's what cheese me. I'm like, why are they fucking doing these stupid movies like this? Well, you're you're the only one I believe trusting you. And then and then now what they did was what they did for, that the change from back then to now was they added the the YouTube f- elements. So now these guys are chasing vloggers. this shit. The vloggers are chasing. Stream, Do you understand streaming. what I'm saying? That was kind of cool, though. I'm not even going to lie. That was I right, because that made it modern. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I could see people doing that shit. But I felt like, I guess the girl's named Kate and the homeboy that runs the um, the blogging one, the one of the, the YouTube show, they look like they had like some sort of romantic connection type shit. You know what I'm saying? So... That's where I fell asleep to. They were chasing the one us, <laughs> and they went to the left, and Shorty went to the right, and they caught theirs, and their tornado fizzled out. It's like they stayed in this little area just looking at clouds to see what's going to come out. Like, where, where's the tornado coming out? And they're chasing the shit. So, what, you have like half an hour left in the movie? Probably like an hour, half hour, yeah, 45. It seems like you're entertained, though. It seems like, you know, you kind of like it. Well, I bit. was paying attention. Uh, I don't know, but I just don't like movies like that. I'm a, I, I like fucking thrillers and suspenses and shit like you know like i like i like i like action movies with a story like you know not like senseless comedic fucking 
hit you in the balls action like Deadpool. Fucking movie is horrible. It actually makes me feel sad for the MCU, bro. Ski. Not gonna lie, dog. I t- didn't I tell you that? MCU is fucked still. If MCU is not in the greatest place. <sighs> I don't know, bro. Smash. Smash up. Um. I just said, who's who? Rap boy beef with what Rap boy said. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. I get scared of some of these guys, but Rap boy said, Yo, I mind my business because I. Because a man said he don't want no problems with me. But the disrespect on IG is crazy. Niggas should link up and crash. <laughs> Who's he talking about? Who's he talking about? I don't know, but fucking... Yeah, Rock Boy. Rock Boy. Rock Boy is a good one. He's a... he. He's not... You know why, you know why I say he's a good guy? Because, like, when we talk about him, whether we agree with him or not agree with him, and we post him and add him... He was, he was laughing at us. Like, he, he's a good sport with this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Marlon Wayans and Vlad get into a back and forth over Marlon Kane's... Marlon Wayans asking for her 40K for an interview. Marlon Wayans wants 40K? Yeah. So Vlad said, nobody on earth is paying... you. Um, paying. Uh, nobody on earth is going to pay Marlon 40K for an interview when he gets 100K to 300K views on a platform he interviews on. This guy is really delusional. Jesus Christ. 40K is a lot still. And Marlon's not even not even lit. Um, what do you think about this though? Can't believe I just spent thirty five hundred dollars oh on the flight, a last minute flight, for this man to get out here, and we was having a real good time all up until I decided to bring my friend out for a threesome. Look at my friend, she's bad. Look at me, I'm bad. What you, what you, but what you like, nigga? Man, come on, man, it's not about to, you know, it's a good time. That flight was thirty five hundred. Listen, come on, man. You didn't tell me to bring somebody else here. It doesn't matter about bringing somebody. It was a surprise. It's a threesome. Listen, like how you don't want to have a threesome. Listen, I don't, I don't move like that. Whatever, bro. I don't just be talking to you or only you. I don't just talk to. Whatever, bro. Now you got my friend ready to go. Like, like, one time. like do you see her? I know, I'm, do you I'm see her? Do you see me? You can have, you can have anything. I don't know you. I don't even know your fucking name. And you just told me you don't know me. So, but come on, bro. Come on, bro. This supposed to be fun. We supposed to be having us a good time. Have a you good time. Let me go to a movie and stuff. Walk to eat. Relax. Chill. Vibe out. What the hell? Don't know. It's not about bringing right. people you don't. She's wrong. What do you, uh, before I to give my table? What's your take on that? You said she's wrong. The 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 black the girl in the black. She said something crazy. What did she say? You must be gay or something. Wrong. That's what bitches always do. Stupid bitch. First um. Off, don't- <laughs> Triggered much? <laughs> <laughs> no. Be- anyways, what, what, for those who don't understand the context, this girl flew out I'm a mad. guy for thirty five hundred last minute flight to have <laughs> fun with. She brought her best friends so that they could all have fun together. So they can have. A did they show the best friend? By the way, yes, they did. Are you three some then things? Um. Before I before I answer my question, I want to know what you take. This homie is homie. His homie, you know what I'm saying? Did he do a right thing? Did he do a wrong thing? Like, if you were in homie's shoes, are you doing that? Like, are you not doing it? He did the right thing. Why did he? Why is he smashing for it? They they paid to fly out. Pay me for my dick, then, bitch. You paid to fly me out. You didn't pay for my dick. Don't bitches do that all the time? Yes. Pay for the dick then too. Yeah. You you paid to fly me out. Good. You brought you and you brought your friend. So hold on. You paid to fly me out to chill with you. Mm-hmm. And now you're bringing a friend. Tell that friend that she has to spend some dollars too. Mm-hmm. That's how it goes around here. We're not just giving out free community dick. Mm-hmm. Sorry, bitches. It's 2024. All you what is what does he say again? This dick ain't free. Baby. <laughs> so yeah, no, that's not going out here. Um he he's totally in the right. To all them niggas in the comments talking about he's a fish and this and that and the third. Yeah, because you niggas just give out your dicks to any and any bitch. That's why there's so many fucking girls out here, single moms. You niggas that catch beer dutty diseases. No. What the fuck? Who's your friend? Exactly. Exactly. Who the fuck is this bitch? Exactly. I, I didn't I didn't act for this bitch to come through. Run her fronts when the dollars come. Then I'll run then I'll run the D. Until then, no, fam. I'm chilling. I'm gonna where did where did they where did they fly him out to? I don't know. I guess she flew him out to where she's at or something. That's well, what it looks well like. he he's got a free trip. 
know what I'm saying? Go take advantage of that trip. Go see the the, the fucking the, the basketball team out there. No basketball seal up. So go see baseball out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go 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 to some concerts. Go see what the food is like. But no, bitch, you're not getting this dick. You paid for it to fly me out. Good. You didn't pay to fly me out and fuck you. That's facts. Like, you sh- he you shouldn't have a problem or an issue if he doesn't want to sleep with your friend. Like, what kind of fuckery is that? Like, you know, he, he came to see you. You know what I'm saying? Why the fuck are you trying to push, push him or whoa, pursue whoa, him? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you pushing the thing? How do you know he went to go see her? He didn't go see her. He got a free fucking trip. That he doesn't mean said, he's actually going to go see her. He said, I came to chill with you, watch a movie, chill, do whatever. That's what he said in the oh, clip. okay, cool. So he came to see the shorty that flew him out because he wanted to spend time with her. Now you're bringing some random thing in his, in his, in his space. Let like, me see the friend. You know what I'm saying? You're bringing the random thing. You're bringing the random thing in his space. Like, it doesn't even matter how short he looks. Like, that's not no, what does. he came for. No, it does. No, 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 no. Seriously, look, look. He didn't come for that. Like, he came for the one thing. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Now, if it was discussed beforehand before he flew out, then it was a different thing. But he said, "Yo, I came to check you." Like, does that make him gay? Does that make him wrong? Like, why are you arguing about him because you spent that much money? So you what? You spent it. You know what I'm saying? You spent it to spend time with the my boy. Now, if that was me, that's a different story. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't mean I'm going to fuck her friend, but like you said, dollars have to be put on bumble clock table. Then we can, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. But at the end of the day, don't wrong that man for deciding not to think with his piece. I actually applaud it. I'm still confused with the friend. Like I'm, I'm thinking if I would smash the friend. The friend does look better than the next thing. That next thing was the instrument. It's horrible. That, 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 ne- that, blonde that does, next that thing? That blonde does is not. That's not blonde. Man. That next thing looks like she's from Toronto and, and migrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh she looks like a migration. So It's a migration. But yeah, she she's um she's in the wrong. He's in the right. 100%. Man. I need to fix up on that. Boom, but cloth. Hundred percent, hundred percent. You seen that they're getting rid of um the break dancing in the Olympics? Why? Because the Australian person made a fucking mockery of that shit. I don't think they should get rid of it. I think it's I think it's great that break dancing is in the Olympics. It's just that, you know, break dancing is different to some people. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how someone breaks. It's not about that. Like I think people are just taking this shit too fucking literal. You know what I mean? Like. That's just the way how she done it. If the, if her fucking country, if she imagine she's the best break dancer in her country and they all dance something like that, that's just her country. She'll lose. <laughs> we obviously know she's not gonna win, but it's not a waste of time. Don't take the break dancing competition now. That's fucking backwards, bro. They fought real hard to bring that shit in. Like it's 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 honestly stupid. Listen, you white people just leave the black people shit alone. <laughs> don't, I don't want to see no. I don't want to see no Australians doing any sort of break dancing anymore. By the way, Mar- Martin Wayne said that yo DJ Vlad, your beard made from Ice Spice's ass hair. These niggas are really get, get, getting mad at it. Eh? Was he ever funny, Marlin? Yeah, not really. It's crazy, huh? Yeah, he wasn't that fun. Like even yeah. even him and his broski, like slapstick humor, gay humor. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. The older gay. ones, the older ones were better. Yeah, they Damon, were Damon, and fucking <clears throat> Damon and the other one. Yeah, those guys were funny. But yeah. I think Damon Wayne's the funniest out of all of them. Actually, actually, even though Keenan is funny too, that but them niggas came from an era where you had to like really, really be funny, like. Yeah, yeah, Especially Keenan. You couldn't fake the funk. Nah, nah. It, it couldn't be like a jokey, jokey thing. Like Keenan was worth, was around like Eddie Murphy and and them on there. Also, too, um, Craig Jones was supposed to fight Gabby Garcia in the first ever transgender. I think it was like a <laughs> boxing fight or some shit like that. No way. You never seen that? No. Well, the fight was um, called off because Craig Jones kissed the fucking tranny. Did you hear what Clarissa? Clarissa sh- yeah. And that's the trans. That's the trans. Yeah. You hear what Clarissa Shield said that she wants to crush Jake Paul. <laughs> She's an idiot. 
Who do you think will win, though? Jake Paul will slap that bitch back into his fucking slavery, fam. Why the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> fam. What is she talking about, fam? She's like, yo, I fucking... No, you she, won't, she fam. She thinks, she thinks she would crush Jake Paul. That's when the equality shit gets to these girls' head, fam. No, you will not, fam. Jake Paul will fucking eat her food, fam. What are we talking about? You think so? I know so, fam. What? This guy said, do you think so? <laughs> fam, who's... Fam, she can't even rock out regular niggas, fam. So she's going to knock out the, all, any of the niggas. What she needs to do, go knock out all the niggas that Jake Paul knocked out. Mm. You do that, then you can go fucking fight him. The white slave master. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy because she's been calling the men out for at least three years, bro. So go knock out them niggas. If they were to ever fight, though, if they were to ever fight. Niggas knocking her out in the first 30 seconds. Besides that, <laughs> is that like, is that something like, um, I guess it wouldn't be abusive or anything, right? Could they ever do something like that? Could they ever have a male boxer and a female boxer in the Fuck same no. ring? Because the, the athletic committee, committee, whatever, won't allow it. Remember, you have to, to, the boxing and fighting, they have to get it passed through the laws of the cities and whatever, right? Not even if everybody passes. They wouldn't, they wouldn't allow it. I don't, it's just something that wouldn't be allowed. Now, it would be different if they said it was like a wrestling match or something like that. Like, we can promote an intergender wrestling match or whatever. Because wrestling is not real. It's, it's, it's choreographed. Yeah. So, it's a little bit easier to do that but they don't even do that anymore it looks like they're set, no they're not even setting it up it looks like actually they are setting up um dominic mysterio versus rhea ripley it looks like they might be setting that up but other than that like they've kind of even fallen off from that too like it's not a big thing to see women fighting men anymore in wrestling so like for boxing tell they wouldn't fam that nigga will kill her Fam, look, we just had a couple of weeks ago where that one girl got punched by the other girl. <laughs> and then they thought that that bitch was a tranny. So, like, <laughs> you're going to try and tell me, I'll do, like, respect to that black queen. Like, you know what I'm saying? She puts on, fam, Jake Paul will knock you the fuck out, bro. He will not, you're not even a baddie. He will knock you out into turning into a baddie, fam. Like, <laughs> no, fam, that's not, no, no, no. I don't advise any fucking black person to fight Jake Paul. Let that nigga go fight somebody white. You, he's knocking out. He fam, he knocks out every fucking black person. Go fight a white you. The white youth will fuck him up. Because mm. they don't They don't fucking, I'm telling you, they don't fucking easy so quickly. But the black youths, not nah, that. The black youths, they, they need to stab him or shoot him. Yeah, yeah. No no fighting for that one. Shout out Jake Paul, man. I fucking, I saw him one time in uh studio. In the studio, yeah. Hey. Icy. That shit nigga, that nigga was blinging. Same studio that same day it was like me Bugs, Bugs got a got a uh, Bugs did a verse for Jake Paul. Killy was there. Um, Killy was there mm -hmm. that day. That was a lit day still. It's like Killy was like, Yo, Vegas used to make me pay for my auto tune stamps. Like, uh. I was like, Bro, that wasn't my. I was, it's the it was the company rule. Like, but yeah, it was a fun day. Oh, fun days, man. Um, anything else that's going on? I don't know. Before we get out of here, would you rather have a gay son or a whole back daughter? <laughs> mm. I'd rather have a gay son. I'd rather have the gay son. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'd rather deal with my gay son's one partner than my whole back's daughter twenty. 20 niggas. It. Fam, I don't even want to think about my daughter being a whole fam. I'd rather my son just, you know what I'm saying? Just hope he's not a bottomless. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. But, like, I'm taking the... Uh, fuck, man. I'm going to have to take that lesser of two evils, in my opinion. It's not, and listen, it's not evil to be a whole bag or gay. It says Vegas. It's not. Why? What's wrong with it? There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Again, it says Vegas. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Also, too, I had that cringy... I, I don't know if I showed you about this. Mm -hmm. So, I had this weird old chick. I made a comment in my Snapchat, right? Oh, I can't be... I can't, you, you said it to me already. What's that? 
<laughs> Yo, bro, would punch her back into slavery. <laughs> yeah, fam, he would. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, he would. Huh? So I had a comment on my on my Snapchat a couple of weeks ago, mm-hmm. and I said like the prettiest girls have the ugliest voices, right? And like, what I meant by it was like any pretty girl they have that horse or that rrr, they, they have like a really harsh like they smoke grabber only voice right mm-hmm. this dirty white racist bitch Mm-mm. if you guys want to know who she is dm me I'll, I'll send you her fucking snapchat Mm-mm. she said the toronto accent is cringe my sister lives in toronto and doesn't have the accent because she's educated last my ass off wow. but still i said what the fuck i stand on what i say period that's racist, no? Or a little bit, like, I feel, because once she, like, I feel like she kind of taking shots at, at fucking niggers. Or just people with that accent or trying to say that they're uneducated. If she thinks that the Toronto accent, like, the man, the Max, and uh, uh, if they if she thinks that's uneducated, then she has to consider that every other place in every other metropolis with an accent is fucking un- uneducated, too. Because everybody doesn't talk like somebody that talks from self that has a self self twang or mm-hmm. or whatever or, or LA slang like they talk normal. You know what I'm saying? They talk like white people, what we would consider. But when you start speaking of of a of this inner city or you start talking of the youth and slang and stuff, you're deemed in uneducated. So she can't be putting that on us like in terms of how we speak. Then if you do that, then every other metropolis with the inner city that speaks that sounds like they speak uneducated, and you have to put that on them too. Right. And I think that is a racist thing. It felt racist to me when she said it because, again, I wasn't thinking about it as a Toronto accent being the ugly. It was like, yo, it could be any girl around the world. They have a certain fucking voice mm-hmm. that's unattractive. Like I like um, my girl from Horrible Decisions. Um, I forgot her name. If it's Mandy or whatever, whatever. Like. I hate her voice, but mm-hmm. I think she's sexy as fuck. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, like, her voice just annoys me. It's just whatever. But So when she said it, she was just like, yo, it's uneducated. But I'm like, how? Mm. I'm like, how can, like, just because somebody sounds a certain way or has a certain accent makes them uneducated? Like, to me, that's kind of racist. Like, it just felt like a racist comment to me. Like, you wanted to say, okay, well, like, black girl. Like, she wanted to pretty much say black girls that with, with the Toronto accent sound racist. Because, because she, like, I don't know. That's what it sounded like to me. Because, oh, my sister lives in Toronto and she's educated. So fucking what? Mm-hmm. She could still sound. So, so just, she's pretty much saying, like, my sister lives in Toronto. She's educated. She doesn't sound like that. Or she doesn't sound like you. Or it sound like or yeah, the but Toronto. to me, but to me, the Toronto sound just because you sound a certain way or you have the accent doesn't mean you're that educated uneducated or not educated. No, hundred percent. That's that's wrong. No, I don't know if it's. I don't know if that's racist, but you did say that she's white and whatever. But like, yeah, that's fucked up. So also too, I don't know if I keep saying this. You black guys, stop letting these fucking white devil fucking bitches. I don't know. Icy would think of a better word to say to them or call them. But these mayonnaise sandwich ass fucking girls, stop allowing them to say nigga just because you put dick in them, fam. Stop that shit, bro. Box them. No, don't box. <laughs> just tell them don't don't say it, please. <laughs> just politely. Politely don't tell say them that don't word. say it. Don't say but that. if they do like, you know, argue or da 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 da, then box them or kick them down somewhere. I'm saying fuck these white girls thinking that they can just say nigga and all this kind of shit. That's that's when they feel like that's why Donald Trump can talk about Kamala and these all people mm-hmm. can talk about Kamala the way they want because mm-hmm. you know everybody we 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 look at it and then I see motherfuckers they they post it and motherfuckers in the comments oh well I see no lie da 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 blah 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 you niggas that never got pussy ass niggas bro. Did you send me that clip or did I hear it earlier? I heard someone there was a clip I heard today or maybe yesterday and they're like, have you ever called? A, like a black guy nigger and the person was like yeah like you know my ex and blah 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 I called him a nigger because like I was angry but I think that the word it's not just for black people I think I would call anybody a nigger it's more for like just dirty people like nasty people Jesus Christ like like yeah I swear that was like a TikTok or something fam like the word nigger now has become not just for the black people, it's really for everybody. Because even I call my white boy nigga sometimes, like my nigga or my brown brethren. Like, it's, it's like, is that word as, 
is the word nigga as uh I guess you can say as hurting as it once was. Cut, um depends <coughs> on who you say it to and it depends on the person, right? I think that's what should it thing. be in twenty twenty four. Yes. A slavery and everything is all over with our our grandpappies and grandmammies all done with this all all <clears throat> this bullshit really. Does the word nigga really matter? Yes. I think it matters because we make it matter. I think it matters because it's still there. It's it it's still an offensive word. You know what I'm offensive because we make it offensive though, not offensive because. But it's been because offensive. Because if we, it, but if we, if we sit down and be like, "Yo, that word nigga doesn't apply to us." I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't even doing or coin myself some fucking nigga. Like you can't call me that. Like or you could call me that, but I don't acknowledge that. Then that becomes not offensive. But we acknowledge it like it's offensive, so it be it continuously stays offensive. You understand what I'm saying? So if we stop acknowledging the the shootings and the killing that's going on, will that stop? Will it, it will it become a thing? Stop where it's acknowledging just like, killing, killing and shootings and stuff. You can't stop acknowledging that that happens. Niggas happen. But I'm okay. But a <laughs> word is different than getting shot down by fucking metal projectiles, my nigga. Not really. Okay, all right. I'm just saying. A word can lead to this for you getting shot down by metal projectiles. <laughs> So what the fuck are we talking about? If, if I'm just saying nigga, the word. If, I'm saying sticks and stones may break bones, but words should never hurt people. Should never. Should exactly. That's what I'm saying. The word nigga should never really hurt us, especially us in Canada. Like I, I have no direct lineage to that word, anyways. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm not fucking. I don't know my family. I don't feel like they were born into slavery, I and mean. if they was, I don't know. Nigga doesn't apply to me. Not to you, but it applies to me. I hate that. Nigga, 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 all day. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah. Um, I don't want I don't want white people saying it. Period. So you're owning that word. Yeah. Don't say it. Yeah, idiot, man. Hey, man. If I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. If I see a white person around me, they white person. We're gonna try that actually. I'm I'm gonna try and get a white person to say nigga around me. He actually might say it, but I don't know if I'll fight him because he's crazy. Legos. Oh, pyras. The mm. pyras. Your jokers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pyro eyes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sicko, youth. Um. Also, too, run the Carly Red thing. Oh yes, that was another thing. Yeah, that was another little. Let me see if I can resend it to you. I got it. I found it. I I saw it when I was going through our chat. This is idiot behavior, by the way, Galvin. Not even if I die. Carly, not even if you <laughs> die. Not Why even. is that? Don't want your friends to be cool with your man? Not even if I die. Carly, not even if you die? <laughs> Why even. is that? Not even if me and you in a car, we get in a car accident and I need to go to the hospital and you need to call my... Don't call him. Why? Mm -mm. Because isn't that how they were That's just able how to surprise I am. I'm not insecure or anything like that. Just don't hit up my man. For nothing. They For shouldn't nothing. have his number. He shouldn't have theirs. No circumstances. What if they knew each other before? If you knew him before and you guys were already, <laughs> you know, you guys were already <laughs> so friends. Funny. But if I introduce you to him, absolutely no. not. No. If you knew him before, it's nothing I could do about it. You know, y'all were cool before. You don't want your friends to. Carly, you really have a problem? Does she have a problem? Yeah. No. Does she have a point? Yes. Whoa. Yes, she does. Let me hear it. Well, you think that Carly Red has a point? Yes, yeah, she does. So a girl or. If me and you are friends, I should not contact your girl for any situation, vice versa. No. Okay. Don't be calling my bitch. No. That's an idiot thing. No, it's girl. not. Don't do that. Like, what, Why are you calling my girl for? I'm not calling yours. Figure out where the fuck you are. To so, figure out if we can set up something, if we're setting up a private then uh, wait a for me to link event you. or something. How, wait for me to if link I'm you. trying to set up a surprise birthday event and I'm going to call your girl. Like, call my yo, bro. Make my bro call my girl. But if I know that you're, you don't even talk to your bro like that, or I'm going to call your girl and be like, I'm going to call the closest person to you and be like, what do you have planned with this nigga? No. Okay, you don't have anything then planned? Don't, cool. Then, then don't, don't plan shit for me. As an idiot, I think. No, it's, no, it's not. <laughs> like, I don't want niggas to call. I don't want none of my friends to call my girlfriend. That's fucking fried. If something's like going I, on, I, I, I would definitely want some of my friends to call my girl. I, I, I think there should be some sort of communication, but don't be having... Con I think it's the, the kind of conversations you're having. I think that's an insecurity problem. I, 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 well, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't want men... I don't want nobody. None of my friends, none of my dogs, none, none of them is calling my bitch for nothing still. I don't want none of that. 
I don't care, bro. Like, that's no. Because it's just like, bro, like, what happens when that leads to something else or they start having private conversations and she has to vent and she, only one she could vent Why to is lead? my nigga. Uh, like, that's the that, insecurity. That's the insecurity part. It shouldn't. Ha- it shouldn't. If you're co- if you're comfortable with your girl and your brethren, it shouldn't matter if they're talking on on whatever. Now, if yes, they, it if you shouldn't already matter. Feel, my yeah. my girl can, my my dog can't be talking no long talk with my dog. No, there's no long talking. No, but again, there's no that. long talking. But I don't know that. You can look through the phones. But you can I, ask your dog. I don't know. And, and there's, there's, and there's lying. And there's lies that happen. In this, there's lies. Simple conversations can be had, and I feel like. That's an insecurity problem. If you if you're afraid for anybody to talk to your girl, then you shouldn't have a girlfriend. Well, honestly, I love my girl, and none of my friends can call her. Still, none of my friends can call my girl either. But <laughs> I don't. I don't give a fuck. Firstly, I don't give a fuck if they no, if I they do. do they do. I do. If because do, niggas do. done fuck my girl behind my back. That's not happening again. We're not doing that. And and I was. Did you ever confirm I, the, the thing with your baby moms? By the way. Yes. I didn't I didn't, right? No. Yes, thank you. <laughs> no. It was supposed to. It was some sort of thing where it's supposed to happen. This and, guy tried to oh, it's it, supposed it, to it, happen. Because uh, it was like I it, like I swear it was like she was coming to check you at Kipling station. And then Probably it didn't it didn't that. happen. Or one of those stations in the West us but it never went through. So yeah. See? The guy tried to make me seem like I was trying to fuck his baby mom. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. None of that shit can happen, fam, in my world. My 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 niggas cannot call my girl for not a goddamn fucking thing, bro. So, nothing. Because I'm not calling my niggas girls, bro. Don't call mm. mine. This is all getting timestamped. You're very good at podcasting. <laughs> Help You're me. Very good. Help me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Cause I'm like, how the fuck this nigga saying all this shit, but this nigga brings his bitch around everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Man, this is what we gotta do, right? Shit. Hey, man. Um, let me play my outro song, man. Yeah, uh, seal up, seal up the show while, while I get the song loaded. You already know what it is, man. It's DJ Las Vegas here with Gutsy Guts. That was the Mad Them Show 104. I'm keeping count now. Jeez. Um, big up, big up, big up, big up our friends. I'll plug, um, grab a queen, um, radio forward as usual for giving us the space and the opportunity. Um, big up the Mad Them, Gucci. You know what I'm saying? Big up the Mad Them, Showtime. Big up the Mad Them. Fucking Dogs After Darks, a.k.a. Buzz Money Bing and Zing and Ringer. Big up Ritz Carlton. You know what I'm saying? Big up everybody in the cut. Nine X, Mills, Halls, Life and Wisdom. You know how we do. Um, but yeah, we about to fucking wrap this shit up. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, follow, do all that good, hood ish, man. And we about to close out. And big up Crumble, too. Oh, wait, man.